I mean, it's like one dude didn't want his powers, another dude wanted powers for self defense. So it's like he gave them both what they wanted. It's yeah. like what I can the guy I do who to got repay powers this looks so stupid. Death? Yeah, it's like <laughs> yeah. What do you like? I, I, what are you like, Brand, Branch Man? Like you got Branch Man? It was legit. Like, <laughs> yeah, potato that's been hanging around for too long. I got that's roots. So red. That is perfect. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Hey, hey, you know, if, uh, if he's excited about that, you know, whatever. I don't yeah, know really what self defense that is. Go into the ground and just start <laughs> growing roots. And welcome to the Anime Izakaya Podcast, week 13 of the winter 2021 season. On this show, we'll be discussing the current season anime airing every week. I'm your host, David, and joining today, we have Stren. Hello, also SB Kuma. Next up, we have <laughs> Justin. Hey, guys. Next up, we have Ku. Yo, yo, yo. And finally, we have Taylor. Hello. All right. Um, so I guess the only anime news we really have, the big one, uh, JoJo Part 6 was announced, so shout out to all you JoJo fans Woo-hoo! out there. Finally get the first female JoJo out of all the parts, so. Oh, really? Nice. Yeah. Wait, wait, what's Jolene. the name then? Oh, Jolene. Jolene. Okay. <laughs> yeah. just, just wanted to know. No, no, well, it sounds like all in a star, so it's not Jolene star or anything. Does she have a last name? She's got uh, Cujo. Right? Jolene Cujo. Okay. What? That ruins it, though. There's no it's, star. It's fine. Yeah. So yeah. Jojo Part Six. Um. So I know Justin's excited. I'll. We'll see if it's I done. ever ca- catch up. Catch up to say, but aside for all you Jojo, Jojo fans, I think that's the only big news we have this week. Uh, let's go on. We saw a lot of shows we need to finish from winter season, and then we have new shows that uh, aired this week for spring. So we'll start with winter first, and then we'll um do like go a little bit over the ones that aired this week, and then next week we'll probably just do like the full. Almost full, uh, spring, spring start because we still have some shows. I just have to wait another week after that. So, uh, so let's start. Let's start with Hori Mia. Um, because this ended, uh, yesterday or this week. So this is the finale of Hori Mia. I assume this is like what what the last chapter in the manga must be like. I don't know, but overall, like, did you get? How did you guys feel about this finale? Um. I thought it was kind of just eh, like whatever. <laughs> I as we kind of talk a bit more about the episode, there is one particular part that honestly I felt like they tried to make very impactful, and I just really didn't care too much for. So I'll, I'll wait till we kind of bring that up. But what did what did the others <laughs> think? <laughs> I uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be, to be honest. Because uh, mm-hmm. I remember uh, <clears throat> in like the last two podcast i was mentioning like how they're going to wrap it up is it going to be meaningful is it going to be exciting is it going to give us like a season two and i didn't really like how the pacing of the show was where it wasn't focused on like two or three characters but it was focused on the whole cast and i felt like this last episode kind of gave it purpose for it to showcase all the supporting cast as well uh but it, like like justin mentioned i felt like they're trying for a more impactful ending but it kind of fell flat a little bit so so i read something interesting online about horimia i went to go read reviews after i finished the episode uh-huh. and i read a forum by a bunch of manga readers who said that when you read the manga um they almost all agree that reading the manga feels more like um the flow of gekan shoujo or wotakoi in terms of like pacing and also just humor like, all the people that had read the manga said that the show basically just, like, went through so much content of the manga and pulled out, like, the very few serious bits that there were and brought it into the anime. But, like, in the manga, it's, like, 90% comedy. Um, and so the, I think that that's probably why we're feeling a little bit off with the pacing, because I feel like they were just trying to give it, like, a slightly different perspective or give you a more well-rounded story to introduce people to the manga i don't know but but that's what i saw people overwhelmingly saying yeah i mean it totally makes sense obviously you know with the the limited number of episodes they had to work with so Mm kind of to to what you just reiterated it it makes sense of why they had to choose either those more serious to really just kind of in a cohesive manner as best as they could you Mm -hmm. know bring together kind of a suitable ending at the end of the 13 episodes here 
And I think but, that like people who read the manga liked it because I think that like whoever put to the pacing together, I think really loved the show and one and really tried to like do as good as they could by it. But I, I, I would agree with that. Um, yeah, I, I, I can feel it. I can feel like that's the case. Um, I think for me, the the part of this finale that honestly, um, I didn't care too much for was uh mia's confrontation with him his old self on the school roof on the day of graduation where it it, it feels kind of odd to me of like you know we see mia's life as it is right now because of you know the happenstance of him meeting hori and you know being kind of brought into this friend group and everything um and and earlier in the episode i I did appreciate it you know when he's at hori's house and you know hori's sleeping and He's kind of thinking like, wow, you know, think of all the events that, you know, had to happen for for me to get here and and how life would have been if he continued to kind of stay his reclusive, like non-sociable self. And so that part I I thought was, you know, decent. But the part on the roof was the, the instance of where I felt like they tried to make it too overly serious where, you know, he was really trying to one kind of embrace or accept his old self and, and how he was you know overly antisocial and, and things of those nature but i felt like it just wasn't necessary in the sense that like all we've seen in in this series for like the majority of the season is like his present life like the parts where he was you know antisocial bullied and all stuff like that gives good background to mia but i feel like at the end like it's not necessary like what does that accomplish like he's already with hori and you know with all these friends now so that was kind of just a small gripe of mine. I don't know if you guys uh, have a different viewpoint or. Yeah, my agree. my take from that was that uh, it was more aimed for people who's dealing with depression, and that mm-hmm. uh, even though you have all these things going for yourself, once you're kind of in that uh, in that mindset, it's kind of hard to shake it off, right? And mm-hmm. then I want to say it's to give people hope that hey, you know, like even the guy that seems the most happy has issues, and then the people that do have issues, you know, don't give up, you know, all it takes is that one, like, fate encounter to change your life, mm-hmm. and, uh, like, they're, they're, I feel like they're trying to make it, like, so much more than, than what it should be. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think that's a really good yet. point that you bring up, though, because I guess I don't put myself, obviously, like, in the shoes of, say, someone who is still in either, you know, middle school, high school age, and they right. are, you know, experiencing kind of that, um, reclusiveness from you know like either a friend group or things of that nature and i think that's a really good point that you bring up is like that probably was kind of the main point to really resonate with people that hey you know things you know everybody has their baggage but there are things you know there there is a brighter side you know there are going to be greener days down the road it's just that yeah. it's kind of carry that that positive mentality and so i guess that was something for me that was hard you know since it's been god so long since high school and stuff and <laughs> things of that nature so makes sense well i mean not just high school just people in general you know like uh that you true yeah and then the the only gripe that i really had was just the fact that they focus so much on mia this time and you know and i'm glad that he has his happy ending and he's able to like look at all these things and be be grateful for it and not take it for granted in a sense but uh i really wish they would have also put more emphasis on hori's character because they they kind of like hinted towards their troubled past, but they never really like brought it to light or like in my eyes kind of solved it so that she'll be able to accept the way that her life was and how it is now. Kind of like how how Mia did, right? So if the show is called Hori Mia, like why can't they both kind of reach that enlightened state together? And I think that would have been more impactful, but uh, that that might just be me, so. Um, as I say for Justin's point, I, I I'm kind of like opposite of you in that like I wish they focused more on like uh, Mia's problems with like like yeah loneliness and trying to fit in. But I just felt like because like we didn't get that much development in it, it, it felt that's why I, th- I think that's why people like you feel like it was unnecessary because like I don't think they spent enough time with it. I just think like it just that's felt half-assed. Yeah. yeah. So I, so I, because it felt half-assed, I wanted them to go more. I just for me, it's like um, it's just, it's like a lot of the tone in the show. It's like a lot of it's the serious issues, especially about around bullying. I just felt like I just felt like they just pushed it aside, or like, like when, like uh, the character that that uh, Mia meets, that like 
was the incident about like the the rabbit cages, whatever. Like like I feel like that was really impactful on Mia, but they just, they didn't really do much of it, and they just brushed it off. And they made it seem like it was pretty easy for him and the other guy to like make up. When it just feels like in real life, like he would be like way more traumatized from like from that incident. So mm-hmm. it just feels like like the point is just like they're just taking that issue lightly. So. Yeah, but then also. Definitely- Oh, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say. I also want to agree. I want to agree with Kuda. That, like, I wish they did more with uh, Hori's character because reintroduced to Hori is like this person who like always has to kick. She can't like have a normal social life because she always has to take care of her brother because her mom's always working. And then it just seems like it just seems like she has a much more normal life than we were led on to be in the beginning. Like, I don't know why it sounded like she had issues. Like, it just seems like maybe she has to take care of her brother more. But like, it seems like her family is much more normal than. Especially as the main character, for, or the like, yeah, the main character in the show. No, I, I I definitely agree with that, and I think it is something to your point there. Like, you know, I I'm planning to go and, and read the the manga just to see, you know, is there kind of more there to either like the you know background of, of these characters, especially you know Hori and Mia. Um, but to your point, Taylor, you know, if they're saying, you know, as a manga reader, like really what they either cut or didn't focus on was more comedic moments, then I guess that makes me also wonder like, okay, well, even if I go and read the manga, am I going to get more, I guess, serious backgrounds for these characters that will make me, you know, I guess, appreciate more of their growth? Or is it just going to be a lot of like side stories with, with the side characters and, you know, the comedic kind of focus, which I'm not saying is bad in any regard. Like definitely some moments had me, you know, dying, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah. It was just a little bit confusing. I mean, for me, I didn't really have any strong issues with, with any of it. I really do just chalk it up to like some pacing issues and leave it at that. Like none Mm -hmm. of it really bothered me too much to look too deeply into it for, for why. Just, just for, just for me. Uh, I will say though that in this episode, Sengoku pissed me off again <laughs> when he was like looking at Remy and he's like, "Oh, she was so much cuter when she had longer hair." Man, fuck you, Sengoku, get out of here! Like that guy is so rude. <laughs> he just had to get uh, in one last line. <laughs> well, that was the alternate universe where he was still kind of a prick, so that was that was okay, I guess. No, he, I don't that's, know. that is actually I, a fair point. I don't so I know. Guess it shows like at his I core before all these changes, he was he was a prick. So yeah, yeah. It's I don't know. That, you know, he started him. to change, but <laughs> I have to. Guy. I have to say that um, Sakura's scene with Toru was my favorite part of the episode. I thought she handled that with so much class. I think she's just so awesome, and I wish her all the best. And it was my favorite part because I just think it's something that's super relatable to everybody. I think everybody's felt that way before, and it's always awkward. And mm. yeah. 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 I mean, the last thing I'll say is like, yeah, I think this format of show definitely fits a manga, so I don't mind. I don't, know, I don't mind like the pacing or what is as much, but um, I say yeah. Overall, I I still enjoy the show, even though I think what was it like? A lot of the, the consensus is like it just kind of fell apart at the end, or it wasn't as strong as the end as it started. But I still overall enjoy the show. So mm-hmm. quick. Quick question for you guys. Do you guys think there's going to be a chance for a second season or no? No, because the manga ended. No. And... Oh, trailers, yeah, updates, I don't think so. Doesn't sound like it. Don't think so? Uh-uh. What did everybody... I rated it an 8. <laughs> I'd probably give it an 8, too. Uh, around, that, around that. Yeah, I think that's that's fair. I'd give that's it around fair. that range. Yeah. But I don't like yeah, scoring. Don't so... many complaints. I do wish there was more, though. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm thing. definitely Please selfish move. in the sense that, like, Actually, I even want to see more of, like, the after high school years. Oh, yeah, I, de- you know, I definitely do. Right, right. But Fair actually, enough. the one thing I'll say is, like, it's, like, just the, the way time was around. Like, again, we went from, like, Christmas last episode to, like, graduation in, like, March, end of March, whatever. So I think it was, like, 24 Jesus. episodes. We could have, like, yeah, I think maybe maybe could have, like, pacing, pacing-wise could have been better. But just, it just jumped around so much in time, like... That's like the main thing for me. So, but I think we're at yeah, put it in it that with Hori Mia. So, so uh, that'll be it. Uh, move on to our next show. I think next show we'll talk about uh, reincarnated as a slime just a little bit. <laughs> Almost didn't talk about it today because someone here thought it ended last week. So, Forgot all about it. Um, but we don't have to, we don't take too long. I don't think. Um, 
I don't even have notes on it. <laughs> so. Oh. Uh, well, how about you, Koo? Oh, yeah. Do you want to wrap so, it up real quick? Nice and cleany for yeah. us? Yeah, so basically, uh, you know, the resurrection was successful. Uh, everyone came back to life. You know, oh, God, it's a miracle. Thank God, right? Um, who, who, is, who of all of us were shocked on that one? Did anybody, any of us not see that coming? Okay, I'll take the silence as yes. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. I wanted to make a joke about it, but I mean, come on. You know, if you did not think that everyone was coming back, uh, yeah. you're obviously when, watching the wrong show. Yeah. I'll Once say you drop like that 3%. The, the, <laughs> the first, the, the very episode where they showed that everyone died, I was like, oh, I thought they were actually going to commit. And then I realized, Hell yeah. I realized I gave, like, I had too much hope. <laughs> like how they were doing it, it just meant like, I was like, oh God, I was like, are they actually going to do this? Are they going to they, they kill off the number one waifu and just continue with that? Like, and then, yeah. no. So. Hmm, yeah, uh, but yeah, so it looks like everything's kind of setting up for the next part of the season, and uh, it looks like uh, Milliam and uh, the Beast King, uh, they got in a fight, and it looks like uh, Milliam is too strong, and also uh, the Demon Lord Carrion is also kind of pulling the strings behind. Yeah, because so. didn't they also make it sound like it wasn't Mil like it was somebody else, like it wasn't Milliam? Uh, wait, was right. it? Was yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah. Carrion, the Beast King, it's Clayman. That's the the, the guy. Or, or Clayman. Yeah, yeah. Clayman's on behind the, the scenes. Damn, David, how right. do you remember his name? I just watched yeah, it today, right? so I remember. Hey. Okay. So so yeah, it looks like there's three demon lords teaming up together, and then for some reason, uh, when they're in that doing that fight, uh Million doesn't seem to be herself. And uh so there's still some kind of mysterious things that's happening in the background that we're not really aware of. Uh but that was pretty much it. And then uh with uh, Rimuru kind of leveling up in a sense to a demon lord and resurrecting the town. Uh, if you don't remember the new demon uh servant that he summoned, uh, his name is now Diablo, so uh, he's going to be serving Rimuru and he's strong as fuck. So yeah, he even got another like bump, like he was already like OP, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So even with like Rimuru's new like power level. By naming him Diablo, it took up like what half of his magic kill yep. or something like that. So that just shows you like how strong he is. He is definitely the strongest servant that Rimuru has right now. Okay. Um, I don't even know if he's actually. I would want to say he's as strong as as the other demon lords, but probably not. I guess. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then that's pretty much it. They're they're just pretty much setting up for the next uh, uh, part. Yeah, the, the big one, but the big one at the end too. The dragon. Um, how about his name? Sort of a V. Um. Oh, Volvodon or something. It starts like. with a V. I forgot his name, but like the dragon um, gets finally gets released and you can have it uh, free moves, I guess, body double or whatever. But yeah, oh, another yeah. another person that's just crazy OP. So, so he gets another <laughs> strong, strong as fuck. Uh, it's just, I guess. Dude, it, it's in just, all honesty, I completely forgot about the guy. I'm, I'm surprised that they actually brought him back. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a uh, uh, side note. I actually do like uh, Million's new form. Um, yeah. The whatever she turned into, I thought it looked way better than her normal form. She looks like an actual serious like fighter. Form. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like it actually looks legit, and not just some, yeah. you know, another lowly wearing nothing. Yeah. Um. I mean, she still kind of is technically, isn't she? Still just wearing like, like, panties or something like that. If she is, she still looks way better now than before. She's a little bit taller, yeah. I guess. But yeah. yeah. But also, yeah, she's crazy strong. Yeah, basically what blew up yeah. one one punch man on the deal mm -hmm. with the the spear so, the rust blast. But but like the, the episode end was just like yeah the new the dragon getting his new body and literally just cut it off right there and that's all we get until summer season. So yep. Yeah. Honestly, it's basically it's a basic it's a kind of show like it's honestly I, I still think it's very average. It's, I don't know why it's, it's so popular. It is very, but... Yeah, it is very average. Like it's not terrible, but it's not like crazy good. It's just it's just middle, like middle of the road. I know, I, I, I know for some reason, like, like, Gigaki loves, like, Isekais. He, he, just, he just watched, like, all of them, you know, like, I don't know. He just watches all of them. So if you're like that, you just you just want some time to kill, and you like watching Isekais, go for it. I mean, yeah, if you're looking for more of, like, a kind of, like, I, I would say, like, more kind of slice of life until, like, these last few episodes of uh, Isekais, because they kind of got, like, a little bit where we actually finally got to see death and mm -hmm. uh, everything else happening. But, I mean... Other than that, I really don't know what to say about this. It's a okay, guys. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, and then the dragon's name was Veldora Tempest. 
At Baldora. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that's that sounds apparently right. important. Yes. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like I said, like like Sergeant just mentioned, it was pretty standard, and then like towards the end, it definitely got a lot better. Uh, definitely gave me a couple surprises with the fact that they actually killed somebody, right? Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty standard Sakai stuff. So yeah, honestly, that's all I have. Yeah, that's all I have too. <laughs> that's all the show deserves. Oh, there's actually there's a yeah. the spin off coming up next season, but I don't think anyone's gonna watch it. So, no, I, I I barely made it through this. Like, season. yeah, I barely made it through this one too. So I don't want to watch like something that's just filler. So I, I also I don't like the comedy in this show. I, like, it's a lot of it's just not good. I don't know. <laughs> it's maybe it just doesn't match up my like what I consider like funny. But it's I just couldn't do it. I, it just very little of what I find in the show funny. <laughs> we'll leave it at uh, that. Yeah. 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 So let's give it for the slime Tenchi show. Part one, I guess. Season two, because you have part two in the summer. Move I'll still on. watch the second part, but you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. And then, yep. and oof, this next big one, you guys ready for Wonder Rake Priority, which I'll say technically, it's technically not the last episode because, but it's, it's, technically it's episode 11, right? Because you have the one recap and then 12 comes out in June or. This was 12. Uh, this was 12. Yeah. No, no, but, 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 but it's fair to say it's probably just 11 episodes because they did do a recap episode. Yeah. I thought it was nine and a half, though, wasn't it? I thought, I thought it was nine point point uh, was it nine point five for some reason, but yeah, I don't remember. That, that, I, 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 I saw title, but it's like okay. I mean, right. you know, obviously, as we see, like you know, they've had tons of production issues for the, and you know that's why they've now had to delay the the true finale. So I'm glad at least we are getting that, and I'm glad you know they did decide <laughs> to delay because it sounds like they're really, you know, for lack of a better word, killing themselves to make this show come out every single week. Yeah. So, um. Yeah, um, I don't know. Does anyone want to start with this week's episode? Uh, yeah. Okay, first off, does anyone understand what's going on? Because nothing kind of makes sense. I was kind of expecting a, a better ending to the season, in a sense, like ending, right? So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but it was basically, they just kind of reconfirmed the fact that there is a multi- multiverse kind of ordeal going on and then uh in this episode i meets her self from a different universe where she did kill herself and uh it looks like when you resurrect someone in this uh egg world they don't really necessarily come back um so not sure that's really a thing but maybe they might be revived in a different world who knows yeah there's definitely still a lot of open-ended questions and two kind of you know the very kind of extensive overview that we had last week thanks to you know taylor's detailed notes um, we did get at least a little bit more progression with uh, Frill in meeting the the final third buddy, or maybe there's one more. Again, I can't remember how many were in there. Hyphen? Two. Four. Well, no, this one, so we have hyphen, dot, and then this one had like a super long name. I don't know, Taylor. Oh, who right, yeah. You remember? I know I was just like, she gave him like a nickname because he's like, oh, your name's too long. Like, you're going to be this person. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> so I think it was like Raraka or, or something like that. So yeah, something along those lines. Um, but it was but not, not our comma, no. Yeah, it didn't hold up with our <laughs> grammatical uh, naming <laughs> conventions, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, but no, I think who you really hit the nail on the head of the main focus of you know i encountering herself or her kind of different universe self of you know what happened to her when she didn't have koito and she ended up you know committing suicide and didn't you know get involved in this this game and everything and making friends with the other three girls um i think otherwise at the beginning of the episode we start to see now you know with the introduction of frill and um her kind of minions uh, the girls are now kind of on different pages of what they're, you know, fighting for or what they really want to do moving forward. Because it seemed like at the beginning, Momoe was completely out. She was just like, this is all, like, stupid. Like, you guys dragged me into this, almost wanting to just use them as a, as a blame. Like, she was like, I never wanted to do this in the first place. Where then you have Rika, who is, you know, fully, you know, kind of fired up and wants to get revenge for what uh, Dot or Hyphen did to, to Manon. Uh, her her familiar turtle so now we kind of have like that going on i mean i'm sure they're all going to come together in this final episode that comes out later this year to you know hopefully defeat you know whatever this greater evil is if it's you know frill is like the true antagonist um but i also well, feel like 
or yeah, go ahead, sorry. I was just gonna say hopefully it's a good resolution too, because uh, you know, we only have one episode left and they I dropped know. a bunch of they dropped a bunch more stuff as well with this episode. Yeah, because correct me if I'm wrong, guys, didn't wasn't there a part in this episode as well where like there was another kind of conflict of ideals between Akka and Ura Akka? Weren't they, weren't they saying something about like how I can't remember which one, you know, was the one that actually had the daughter with the the one other female scientist. But I feel like there was a part where they were talking and he's like, hey, like, are you still doing this for, you know, why we're trying to do this to defeat Frill? Or are you doing this because you want to try to attempt to bring back uh, was it Hina or I can't remember the name of the daughter that died that Frill, quote unquote, killed? Uh, Haruka, maybe? I do remember them kind of clashing about some uh, about uh, things again, but uh, I'm not quite. I, I don't remember exactly what it was or which yeah. like who was on which side of that. Yeah, unfortunately, my my notes were not as uh, not as detailed for this week. So <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's like overall, like I wasn't really expecting this type of episode, like how they set everything up. I thought that, I thought it was a lot weaker than the previous episode because they dropped like I don't know. There's so many things that happened where like just like well, what like what the hell's happening? And then yeah. this was one of my least favorite things. I do not like. I don't care for multiverses. I don't care for time travel stuff. And like <laughs> once that dropped, I was like, oh my God, because that can be, that can easily wipe away whatever it wants. It can rewrite whatever it wants. And I'm just like, Ugh. it was yeah. the one, one path I was hoping it wasn't going to take, but then it being an anime yeah. original with a very limited time left, it <laughs> sadly I, works the best. <laughs> I agree. So then is it safe to say when I was, you know, met her, her multiverse self and the like evil entity was the, the teacher or the senpai um the teacher was that the teacher yeah the teacher uh was that just the teacher from eyes world where i is the one who committed suicide or do you think like in both worlds suicide. like the teacher is still evil uh, like, so because so i feel I, like it's trying to push heavy towards the teacher being like a complete scumbag or all doing things for ulterior motives but i'm i'm thinking now with these multiverses like they're trying to say like oh in eyes world where i committed suicide he's a really horrible guy but then hmm. i don't know what no, think, I, I, uh, yeah. I think uh, I think these these enemies or these bosses, they're not actually what how that person was in, in their world. It's what uh, the person that committed suicide thinks of them as. That's that's okay. basically how I took it. Uh, and like we we like the thing that kind of bothered me the most this episode is the fact that we never got the answer of what happened between I and the teacher at the art exhibit, right? So. Mm -hmm. We don't really know what his true intention is. Is he really evil? Is he really a good guy? But as of right now, everything points to him like being a nice guy. And he really cares for Ai's mom and they want to like get together and start a relationship. Oh. Uh, so I can't really see uh, him being a bad person. And then just looking at how like this character was and what he was saying to like both eyes in a dream world, I really think that's not what they are or how they truly are in the real world. Well, I thought I thought a part of that was that they kind of covered it was um was wh what I was talking was telling her other I self about like the teacher um or the her current not 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 the non scumbag one or the one that we don't think it's a scumbag yet um I thought she was kind of like like uh, when she was talking about like the them all to the other I I thought that was maybe kind of give a little bit of insight like what kind of uh I was talking to her the teacher about without actually like telling us yet mm. um but i'm not sure uh, taylor any thoughts on the episode or uh what were your thoughts on this um honestly you guys pretty much caught most of what i had down for my notes i really really dislike i mean it's probably just a me thing but i really dislike this um method of having like the, like the two different like the same character two versions of them confronting each other i just felt like in this episode it was really confusing and it lasted way too long to convey just like the point that there's a multiverse and in one of those multiverses she killed herself i just felt like it took up a really large portion of the episode when i was really wanting to know what ku mentioned earlier which is what the teacher was going to say about her friend mm -hmm. um i felt like that was one of the really big themes that still need to be wrapped up and especially with how confusing it was with how he was portrayed as like the monster in this episode um, I mean, we're even talking about it right now does that mean that he was bad in the other universe but good in this universe like it just it just it just felt like they could have cut a lot of that double eye time and <laughs> explained yeah. some other things. I feel like they also kind of did Koito dirty with the double eye focus, where, like, you know, we we're finally we we're potentially going to see, you know, that resolution between eye and Koito and maybe get background into, you know, 
what truly pushed her over the edge if it was you know oh, yeah. their shared love for the teacher but it, it was kind of that focus of like i had to you know let go of koito to go and save her multiverse self uh-huh. yeah so, i was just like well this this kind of sucks like well Oh, and also, we also still don't know if all of these girls have actually been brought back to life. Yep. yep. As Koo mentioned, yeah, we don't know. Oh, sorry, yeah. I missed that. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. Uh, but, so, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't know, guys. I, I hate this episode. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't... I'm pretty sure it's confirmed that even the episode coming out in June is just a 20-minute Format. Oh, I don't dude. think it's been given any like special hour long. I could oh, be wrong though, God. so don't take don't take that for you know, uh, sealed in stone, so to speak. But mm. do you think if you know it is only a twenty minute, is uh, one more episode even kind of enough? I mean, I think no. we, yeah, right. Oh, we hell no. it like, yeah. Nah. <laughs> so uh, it's just tough because they had something really great, but it's like man, yeah, they, they just don't Due have the time the, constraints. The time. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's even that right. Just the fact that like. These guys are basically like the animators are basically working themselves to death. That could just be a reason why the story just took a like a downhill turn. Anime, right? indust- anime industry and project management. Yeah. So I, I feel like this is just one of those animes where it sets you up to have hope that it's going to be good. It's going to have closure uh, and it's going to be fleshed out to you're just going to get something that's half finished. So um, I feel like. I want to say the the episode that's coming out in June is probably going to make us more angry or make us want more because it's not going to be able to finish the the story in a sense. Unless it's longer than twenty minutes, unless right. it's like an hour oh, special or something. Right. Even with an hour long special, I think it it might be like pushing it, but I think there's like a better chance. There's a better chance of it. I'm not, but I, I don't know. Uh, it seems like they're like it seems like nobody can even match up to like the hyphen and dot and all those people like it just yeah. seems like they have like no chance so it's like really the only the only chance that but the show has done multiple times is the power of friendship so that could easily override it i'm just used to like the shonen ones where they have to train when that has nothing mm-hmm. to do with this one i'm sure yeah yeah uh, i agree and i feel like I mean, ultimately as well they're probably gonna end up selling a lot of the other girls stories short and yeah. they're probably just gonna focus on i yeah i i did actually i still kind of gave like the show a little bit of a higher score just because like it i mean it was i think fairly unique um and also i mean it looked nice every like music was good like everything is just kind of just i'm still gonna i I'll probably will still wait just to see how it everything just kind of resolves itself before i come back to this and see if i need to dock it <laughs> but we'll yeah, see i gave it a seven because i feel like last week's episode was still really good like it just it was. was not at all what i was expecting like it, i was super interested even though i feel like it kind of flubbed the next bit like it's pretty hard for me to get like that invested in like a one episode introduction of some new concepts so i have to give it some credit for that <laughs> and then of course right. everything else you said i mean it's just such a beautiful anime i feel like you can really tell there was so much passion put into this like i think it physically hurts to, to, to score it too low <laughs> Well, yeah they, they also like also just in general this anime had so many like good points but they didn't like they didn't really commit like to a lot of them like there's a lot of like issues where they or a lot of things or issues that they brought up but they didn't like fully go into it they just it was just kind of like a surface level like a surface level skim and then they just moved on to the next thing which I, I feel like if it was a little bit of a longer show that they could have you know dove a little bit more into that but into the main well, yeah they wouldn't have even had to have introduced like all of these characters like, yeah. really, yeah. if they wanted it to be about this gigantic, you know, multi-dimensional story, just have it be about I. <laughs> like... Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a fair point, too. Yeah, they could have easily just made it to, oh, you completed your job. Hey, they're going to be resurrected now. Uh, happy ending for everyone, right? Yeah, we could have got there <laughs> way faster, too, probably. Maybe. We didn't need to have so many yeah. filler, like. <laughs> yeah. But it is what it is. Yeah. We're here, and now all we can do is see what they do with this, this special edition so yeah. multiverse the of a disappointment than promise neverland <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, well, I, don't think, Ooh. I don't think we get close there <laughs> a low blow so, but we'll yeah, talk about this again blow. in june yeah yes all right i guess that's as much as a wrap-up as we can for one direct priority yeah <laughs> shout outs to all the animators can't do much yeah. thank yes. you again cloverworks for really creating a beautiful piece of work it's like you know just the yes. unfortunate part of the, you have so many things going on that yeah. <sighs> we're interested to see what you'll do with the extra time and hopefully the the recuperation later in the year 
Yeah. yeah. Hopefully I take a break and get a you know pay bump. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's so depressing. So, but... so that's and with that, that's also uh, most of our um uh discussions about like uh our main discussions from the uh, winter series and so we'll just wrap things up real quick with whatever we have left um so well you mentioned, trans- yeah you want to do a little mention lock horizon whatever you want to say oh my god okay so i i mean I, I i think i gave this season like a three this is by far like one of the most disappointed i've uh, ever been three? in oh, an anime season. okay so throw the hype we were all so excited for the show because we like knew like, you know, going into, like, the first season was awesome. Second season, like, stumbled a bit, but we thought, like, okay. Like, what they set up at the end of the second season, I thought, like, damn, like, this third season could just pop up. And instead, we're going to bunch of fucking political garbage that, like, for, like, for the first, what it seemed like, six episodes, where it didn't even matter because the guy backed out of the, of the whole deal anyway. I'm thinking, and I was just like, oh, my God, at that point. And then there was a couple episodes with Krusty, which they should have started this season with. Because like I, I think if I if they started with those couple episodes, like my whole kind of like my my th- thoughts of the on the whole season would have changed. I think mm-hmm. um, I don't think I would have been nearly as hard on it. Um, but then it's just like just but we finally got the rating stuff at the towards this, toward the end, like the last two episodes. But at that point, one I just didn't care anymore, and just how they set it up was just so poorly done. Where it was just like a random raid that just start just started in town. Um, and then for some reason, everybody got changed to level, like everybody got knocked down to level 35 for some reason that I'm not, that I'm unaware of, but everybody was still level 65. But then like one of the main two, I forgot the, like the little ninja girl's name. Um, Akatsuki. Akatsuki. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. It's like, she, she was able to bypass it because before that she was in training mode. So her training mode level got to stay because, you know, the logic of the show. And then there's one stupid line that stuck with me. That I'm just like, oh my god! Or so the, at this point, they the the raid monster that they were attacked that they were being attacked by, or the the boss, he he did like an AOE attack. I know all of us for MMOs, we know AOE attacks. They hit everybody, and that's basically like a uh, was it? That's like a heal check for everybody. But the stupid line that this girl says when the thing goes off, she says it's not possible to evade those purple light beams. But if we step back very far, they won't reach us. I'm thinking, <laughs> what, she what in God's <laughs> name was oh that fucking God. line and like when i heard that i was like I, I almost just closed it and i was just like i'm just gonna finish this show right here and just not come back um, and then there's just like maybe like five minutes left in the third season and i'm like when i read that i'm just like oh my god and then uh i, I also i think it's the first time where i always say like i'm you know i'm this far in i'm just gonna commit finish it like i i don't think i want to do season four even though they left off this season with like how the second season left off where the original thing with Shiroe, which which was they were supposed to go to um God what was the, what was the name of the place now, um, um something with an M. There there was some place they were I don't know if David if you remember but there's some the moon, place is it? That they were, no it wasn't the moon. Uh, we're not Final moon. Fantasy fourteen all right. <laughs> no, no the moon is a thing. <laughs> this the is moon like, is a thing here. It's like Marina or something and uh, something okay. where originally like I swear that they were like they set it up at the end of sex of the second season to do this. But they ended this season the same as that one. I was like, are you just like, and then I, all the flashbacks came back. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I was like, this is how it was, it was supposed to start. And again, this season was so much like, I don't care about the bard group at all. And like the last half of this thing was all the fucking bards. And I just want to see shit about Shiroi. And Shiroi is just gone. He's just not, a, he's just like a support character. He's not in the limelight. He's just, all these like peons are doing stuff. And I don't care about the supporting cast of this show. They're fucking terrible. Oh my god, it's just, I don't know. It's like, ugh. Anyway, I'm done. <laughs> I can't say anything, because I didn't finish the, I didn't, like, finish the show, so, um, I, but I'll say this, I, I definitely understand Stratton's uh, frustration, is, like, even someone who enjoys political drama shows, like, the first half, like, it was way too much for, for most people, Complete like, overkill. like, they definitely should have, like, they should have inter- interwoven with Krusty's story, like, yeah, they should have done, like, half and half, like, because, it was way too much focus on political drama, so. And yeah. and again, like the whole point of it was like to make you sympathize with like the NPCs, but like really, I still don't really care about the NPCs. Like I don't Same. care about the princess chick either. Like they're trying so hard to build her. Like season two, they tried hard to build her character, and I still didn't. I didn't feel anything. I just like I just no, I want yeah I want to see more of the adventurers. They they they're the ones who really matter. 
Yeah, and it's like because the whole rating aspect of like how they like came up with stuff was awesome. This one they're just using flawed logic and then coming up with something, and oh. and it's just it's just oh, I don't know. And it's I painful, would, man. I would say that even if I read the light novel, I think it's just gonna be more of the same. So I don't know. Oh I think god, I'll eventually, it's not more. I think I'll eventually. It's on my list of like things I'm. I'll keep into. I'll keep track of, but. Yeah, I don't feel like the same assignment as I used it before. I I want to, so. Okay. All right. All right. So that's that'll be it for our mention for Lock Horizon before before <laughs> Strength suffers more. Oh, uh, honestly, that, that that when I clicked when I completed that show, it felt so good to just wipe it away. <laughs> oh, better than so. Black Clover. Oh, okay. <laughs> so that's 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 our that's our mention for Lock Horizon, and then, um, no um spider uh show this week because it's taking a break but it'll be back next uh next week and it'll continue actually it'll actually continue on the the next season it's not doing a split quarter right now surprisingly i don't know why this show of all of them gets to do that but yeah this show is the best maybe <laughs> i, I don't yep. know so that's it for the, potential to do that yep that's it for the spider so what show and then if you guys want to briefly mention skate i actually saw it was kind of trending a little bit yesterday but um Damn, I'm su- I'm surprised. There's really, you know, a, a fan base that I guess is behind this because like, I know you guys are saying last week, uh, Recky started Recky was, trending. Recky on, was kind of trending. So. There, was, there was another name I forgot. But some other guy's Longa. name was trending. What? I don't know if it was him or Longa not. Yeah. Or, okay. Longa. Someone else yeah. else is trending. He's, he's a, like probably Longa or Ranga. Yeah. Proper, yeah. So. Snow. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. Like I, I, like I found out like I didn't realize like how big the final like how the how the following was or how like positive like people are like people's thoughts are on the show until like um like it was my, my sister was mentioning how like uh her and her and her girlfriend love the show and then me and taylor were like why <laughs> <laughs> i was like it's really uh, it's really not like in like the big picture a good show it's fun to watch is it just but a, yeah animation or Oh, animation by far. Like it's like yeah, it's definitely really pretty. And, like there's... And, and I think there's a lot of uh, pretty guys for you know uh, female yeah. audiences. I was gonna say to, uh, there's yeah. like barely any, over. there's barely any skateboarding shows as it is too. So, well, <laughs> this still the same. The by far the worst thing is that they they added was uh was Adam and how they made him in this show. If they just removed him, I feel like the show could have been much much better. He was by far the worst part of it. I mean, it's the whole thing is like it's supposed to be about skating. And this guy's special move is to jump off the skateboard, run towards you, and try to drill you with the skateboard. Which every <laughs> fucking time I just die laughing. I was like, I was like, yes, yes, this is definitely like top notch uh, skateboarding skills. And it was just, yeah. oh my god, every time dude, I just fucking laugh. <laughs> and I just picture, I was like, this if Sasha were to be a character on this show, Sasha is Adam by far. He is Adam. <laughs> and yeah, he's definitely <laughs> definitely over the top and just out there in terms of his uh self-rationalization for the way he kind of operates and, and sees you know this world and, and what he uses skating for um but yeah i think uh i think you really nailed it right in the part of you know again we, we we don't have many if any that i can really remember of skate animes and so no. you know i think that was something admittedly in the beginning was uh very enticing to see you know okay how can they do something like this and then to your point you know once we get introduced to adam and his kind of usage of physical you know <laughs> violence of, yeah. of of these races and duels then that's where it really does kind of subtract in, in, my, in my opinion yeah. um so that was a a downside for me and even adam in general as Seren mentioned like he just really stole the show later on in terms of really just being that big bad antagonist so uh i think that kind of sold stuff a little short as well um but animation wise and everything really pretty uh all the characters are you know likable for the most part i'm sure there's people who really like adam as a character and kind of just his very like (laughs) narrow mindset of the world but um with this finale uh he basically just gets that mindset broken in in this 20 minutes and so that's something that also is kind of like okay well he was a pretty weak character in the end of everything and you know all yeah. it took was for one of you know the, the the main characters to challenge kind of his ideology and then it kind of worked out for the better at the end yeah. for everyone so show, had to show him again that skateboarding is fun <laughs> yeah right so 
Yeah, um, that, that was weak. Yeah. Also, like the whole thing with like the final skateboard thing. That's just a uh, again. This is a course that Snow has never seen, and yet he's just dominating on it. And they're just kind of going. I don't even know why I'm still getting stuck on these details. By far, they've already like put like they've already like shown us like they don't care about those things. But yet, I, every episode, I keep mentioning it. When really at this point, I should just kind of just go over it and be like, it is what it is at this point. Like it's it's obvious. Like I don't think it's we have to point these out anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I'll just stop right there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, if you're looking for some good eye candy from both the uh, the male character department and uh, some, admittedly, you know, nice animation quality, the then 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 this but is the moms where, yeah, the, yeah, you got the moms um, specifically for, snow you know, male character. <laughs> so. Um, you know, you can check it out. But other than that, um, I think it really did at the end of the day get carried animation wise and stuff. Um, well, so. I, I still think, like, by far, if they kind of set the tone with those couple episodes where Reiki was realizing, like, he doesn't have that natural talent that Snow has, and that he's, like, he won't, like, he, like, basically, he can still have, he can still skate and everything, but he just won't hit that, that level. He'll still kind of, like, be in that more of the support role when he was kind of going through all that. Like, those are the episodes I wish I would have watched because those are, I still think, like, the best episodes that, that they, had, they had. Yeah. And it really had nothing to do with the skate, like, skateboarding animation, nothing. It's just like the impact and meaning, the meaning of those episodes, I thought were way better. Yeah, that's true too. That would have been a much better route to take than as we see later, you know, yeah. Recky just kind of fully comes back. And then even at the very end, it's like, okay, hey, we're going to have our race between each other now and yeah. no holding back. And it's <laughs> well, like, even well, with... you know, two episodes, you just showed us that Recky, you know, <laughs> thought he's going to be ever be anywhere close to snow. So, yeah, well, I mean, it's yeah. like on the whole thing with Adam's ridiculousness too. Like they, I think they could have gone more of like a serious uh like uh route with this show with even still having like ridiculous abilities but i think adam by far was just way too like way too much that, that the show needed um and i think they could have actually gone more with like either like the friendship route with just like their group or just like even ricky coming to terms with uh like with the you know kind of like the more support role yeah but, i don't know uh, i just feel like there could have been way more things yeah but. the last thing i will say that i i didn't enjoy and it was in like the last few minutes was um the assistant of adam who is really trying to, you know, oh, break God, his ideology and, you know, show him that skating <laughs> is, is fun again. At the very end, uh, you know, he's kind of like um, talking to Adam and like, oh, you know, do you still, you know, want me around? And he's like, oh, of course, like you're my number one dog. <laughs> and then like the guy, the assistant like gets all like, he blushes and everything. And I'm just like, okay, like you're just cool with being this guy's bitch. So hey, yeah. I don't know. It's okay, it's it was it was well, for the fans. It's all that character short for me, but yeah, totally for the fans. A lot of uh, yeah. all fans nervous stuff there, but yeah, I think we've Not talked long. way more than enough about skate. So yeah, <laughs> another one. Basically, it's like another middle of the pack thing. Animation's awesome. I think even music was really good too. Characters yeah. most for the most part likable, but yeah, agreed. Like that. Cool. All right, yeah. So that's the end of skate, and then quick shout out. Try and you want a quick shout out for. Uh, Eurocamp and um, Nanambiri. Yeah, yeah, Eurocamp, Nanambiri both finished. Um, I love the first season of Eurocamp a lot. Uh, I don't know why this second season, I didn't feel like it was as good as the first. I don't know why, but at the same time, uh, I thought this Nanambiri season was, was. I mean, every season that they've had, like the movies, OVAs, everything has all been solid. It's. I think it's like one of the, t it's one of the like top tier shows for just slice of life. Was it? You just like shut your mind off and just enjoy it. I think Eurocamp got an anime movie announced too, wasn't it? 2022? I don't know. Okay. Um, I swear maybe, I want him. but yeah. I, but not anybody. Ha it, it does have a movie um, that's come out before I have watched it. Eurocamp, uh, if they do, it's it's the first then. I wouldn't be surprised uh, if they actually do because it's one of those shows that I think could easily make them uh, just have a movie of it. Yeah. Because um, oh, the animation, like this, the shots of everything that they use, they look so pretty. It's it just makes you want to you know go out in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> in the middle of winter, and just hope you survive. <laughs> no, but uh, no, but but um, I think for just like a slice of life shows, I think these these are the top two that they they do they do the slice of life genre really well. Uh, comedy for the most part is really good. I, for some reason, I didn't think Eurocamp was as funny as the first season. Um, but the, not on Beery though was hilarious. Like again, like it's like every season this this show has had, I thought I think it's been on point. I also. Uh, I think I saw something like that. This was like the final season of it as well. I know the manga just finished up as well, but uh, I was kind of like, I was trying to look up on Reddit threads just to see if they're going to have anything more, but it made it sound like this was going to be like the final season of it, uh, which I'm kind of hoping not. I'm hoping they can just kind of come up with some more OVAs and stuff. Cause there's really not too much of a big story. Um, the, the season kind of wraps up with uh, 
um, God, that, that, that random dude um, who never spoke. He just graduated from high school, and basically they were kind of like all moving on. Like, Renge is now uh, in grade two. And I think we first started the show, I think she was in kindergarten. Does that sound right? I know, Justin, you watched the first couple seasons. Yeah, right? I think that's yeah. that's right. Yeah, it, it basically, they kind of, they, they were wrapping it up as like, this like you know the the people who were like in the high school years they they were just kind of like moving on to like their like their new schools and stuff like that so it just yeah. felt like it was like an end of us like a series finale which I kind of hope not because I was actually tearing up a bit I was like damn I, was, I was love this show <laughs> it's I don't know, it's so good for uh for a slice of life if you just want like a, just a laid back show where this is still like one of the only shows I would watch like towards the, the end of the night just because it kind of just puts you in like the just like you know ready to go to bed mood. Like it's still like just uh like there there's like in Euro Camp is still um is still very good, but I don't know why like I felt like it just wasn't as good as the first. I, but then again, I didn't I didn't watch Nine and Barry at the same time, so I was kinda like in a sense putting them uh, like one like each one Pairing the two up against each other and yeah. I just thought Nine and Barry uh did just did things better. I also like yeah, I don't know. That's all I got. Sorry, that was like kind of a whole explanation kind of going around in a circle but all right we didn't get talk much about it this yeah. season so let's give the shout out that I deserve so yeah so I think very good shows that's gonna be it for like our winner stuff so just wrapping everything up so it's certainly this is like the last yeah it's the last week of winter and then we have a whole bunch of shows that aired in spring so we'll talk about some of them here and then next week we'll definitely go more in depth when we get more of them and then you mean still have yeah we still have more after that but so I guess uh, the first big one we should talk about is Vivi, uh, Full Ride's I Song. So, and this, yeah, man, dude, this I'm show. <laughs> yeah, I'll say real quick. Um, yeah, Wit Studios by and it's the writer of ReZero, so a lot of big names behind it. But we'll see how it lives up. And also, uh, two episodes aired, so we're gonna talk about both episodes that aired. Uh, so, so I had no idea this was actually the creator of ReZero. It makes more sense because it's about time, t- <laughs> more time stuff. <laughs> yeah but i don't know i don't know for me like i i think i think it has good potential i think you know certain as, as we kind of discussed the other day was that i'm really glad that we got two episodes um because as we talk kind of further about you know what conspired in those two episodes um i think it really did a good job of being able to draw in you know new viewers who are interested in, in starting this show for this season um for me i'm getting some like heavy like i robot meets like westworld Type. Or Terminator? Vibes. <laughs> Even yeah, Terminator. That's a that's a good way to put it. Um, so I, I'm definitely in from these first two episodes. It has me sold. Um, I think it's just you know with other series like iRobot and you know um, Westworld that kind of do this similar concept of AIs becoming popularized in, in you know futuristic setting, and then the AI, AIs kind of become more self sentient apart from their original mission and start to you know work against their creators i'm really hoping that it does something different here because i almost feel like i, I know where it's gonna go it seems oh, like <laughs> like it has like so many like yeah like other, especially it's like ai focus it seems it has like a lot of the ai things you're so familiar with like like we said like 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 terminator i robot i didn't watch westworld but like um let's just say there's like some there's some other anime that i'm making comparisons to now now i forgot but well, uh, well, for this yeah. one, I feel like I feel like um, they they did a really good job just explaining everything that's going on. They gave us like a really good idea of the synopsis as well. Like there was none of the the, the guessing work that was in between. She had like you know how like where is this going to go? What's the point of all this? They kind of laid everything out really well at the beginning of this. Um, and I saw somewhere I think I, I think um, earlier Taylor mentioned that uh, that they they they've been working on this since like 2017. Uh, I don't know if it was like the story or like it's oh, been wow. years. Yeah, I like so that. basically. Yeah, it's, so it's been a while. Um, so Taylor, Taylor, if you can confirm in chat, um, but I, th- I thought she said 2017. Um, okay. Which I guess would also because it is it's still like anime original, right? This is like a this isn't based off like any light novel, manga, nothing no, like it's that. A, it's all it's all original. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So and it's like of course you get Wit Studio as well, which immediately you notice like the like the animation shots when your shoe is running on the buildings, and also the music was top notch as well. Uh, it's uh, I don't know. It's it sounds like such. It sounds like, like the concept sounds like something like mentioned like Justin how you mentioned before. Like we've heard it so much before, but just like how they kind of showed it, like it just looks like it has very high, like very good potential. Like just after watching the first two episodes, like damn, I'm in. But I'm so, also very glad they had two because the first episode, I'm just like meh. 
But yeah, I'll, with I'll the second say, episode, I was like, yes. I was just gonna say that, like, <laughs> the first episode, like, I just it felt like very meh. Like, I didn't really see, yes. I wasn't really interested. And then even the second episode, like, it got more interesting, but it wasn't until the end where, like, where they where it got serious. So, because well, the... like, I'll say like. Again, like they're not taking like a more realistic approach to AI or anything. It's more like the like what art writers think AI is. So, so there's yeah. some there's some nitpicks I have about, about the, like some of the aspects, but I'm not gonna let I'm not dwelling on it too much. No. Yeah. yeah. Well, the thing is that they actually gave us the you know they, they let us know about basically like their their um, version of AI is where they are only programmed to do one thing and they're supposed to do it I mean, very that, well. That's a real thing in AI uh, um, right yeah. now. Um, Right now, AI is like we can only they can only do one thing. The big what everyone's trying to do is try to make a general AI. That's why the main characters are really important because she's the first one that can do more than one thing. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. what yeah. what um what I was gonna mention also mention too like the worst synopsis I've actually seen was on my favorite site, my enemy list, where it basically just makes it sound like it's like some some AI chick that just sings. Because I remember when um. Uh, because when Taylor's like, man, the synopsis just sounds terrible for this. I was like, just give it a shot. I feel like you would actually like this show. And it, it feels because if if you were to just watch like the first episode, you would think like it was just like some AI uh, idol that just goes like on a like almost like on a killing spree in a sense, but it's not actually killing people. <laughs> but it it, it just sounded like it just made it sound like it just made it sound really weird. But then with that second episode, you can make it. It seems like that the whole thing with singing is not going to be a main point at all for this. It's it's mainly probably where the, she's going to mention it multiple times, but I don't think we're going to be getting anything where we're going to have to have to see her, like get into her singing career or anything like that. So, which Definitely. I hope not. Um, <laughs> so. I think for me, so I was uh, messaging Ulysses in the chat about jujitsu. Um, but for me, I think the part that really has me interested is uh, Matsumoto the AI or teddy bear from the future, because, you know, he's obviously come from this initiative protocol that we saw, you know, the doctor um, implanting into uh, Vivi as everything was kind of going down in the future, a hundred years from now, where the AIs had kind of gone rogue and started killing humans. Mm -hmm. Um, So I don't think, you know, we can really trust him at all. I don't even know. And I don't even know if what he's, you know, initially stating as why he came back is the truth. And so, you know, with it in mind that this is the writer of ReZero, I think there's obviously going to be hopefully some um, some twists and turns. And so Matsumoto right now is is my number one kind of focus of this guy can't be fucking trusted. Right. (laughs) He's acting way too omnipotent of being, you know, this being from the future. And, you know, even Vivi kind of realizes that when she tries to like remove him as a virus and, you know, the virus scanners aren't finding anything and, and all these other things. And especially as David mentioned, you know, at the end of that second episode where we see that, um, Vivi is trying to save the girl, um, from episode one that, uh, would visit her at the theme park and actually gave her the nickname Vivi. Uh, and we see the bear taking over like a construction machine to basically destroy Vivi to prevent her from saving the airplane that the girl was on that gets blown up. So um, he right there is really showing like, hey, no, you're playing by my rules. Like, I know you might have these other thoughts and ideas, but, you know, we got we got what he deems to be bigger fish to fry. Yeah. And so I think we're going to continue to see that clash of ideologies I mean, as yeah. Vivi kind of yeah, goes. I, I, I didn't even think about that until you brought it up. Yeah, that's a really good point because it's now it's, just, it's thinking like, you know, like who's, who to say that Matsumoto, like his like uh, decisions, what, what he thinks is important, who's to say that's the right one or why does he get to make that that yeah. choice? And who's even say like what he shows Vivi as like future articles of what happens in the future yeah. vivi can't know if that's real or not he could completely right. be fabricating everything wow. for some I wasn't, even, initiative. I wasn't even thinking about that maybe i'm just too so, trusting well, well, <laughs> yeah. the thing is how, like even how she mentioned too about how you know like why are you just like you know uh like like uh what the hell was the term she used like giving me drips like you know basically like a whatever that whatever that, whatever that term is like she's mm-hmm. he's only telling her like bits and pieces but not like the full picture and then um even like that that like when um when he, when he uh, took over, like when it showed, like he took over that giant machine, I actually got confused because I wasn't quite sure, like like what that actually was. But then I went to Reddit and they basically said, like uh, it's, it's it's basically like her, like it's it's like um, it's, a tower? it's like showing, uh, no, it was just like that quick clip, you know, basically with the whole thing with the 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 uh, airplane. 
before he takes it, over the or takes over the, oh, yeah. just the construction. Yeah, but, but but so did you guys see that? Think that I was like because what Reddit was saying like they took it as like it was basically in like uh, where he showed her like a bunch of like the stuff that was like in the future. But then it was also like, but then like the whole that whole concept was basically about how she's trying to change the rules, how she sees the outcome. But like yep. during that time, she's trying to calculate and change something, and then but then it's yep. like almost like showing us like action scenes of like what's actually what's happening in their minds, or whatever that kind of road thing is, because it, everything happens so quick. Yeah, uh... I, I took it more so as like we get the idea that you know Matsumoto is showing Vivi, you know what needs to occur in the future, and kind of as you just mentioned, Strand, like as a I guess byproduct of that, Vivi is learning, you know, other things that happen that maybe aren't related to the main directive. And so she picks mm -hmm. up on the accident that happens with this plane. And, you know, as we see at the end of the episode, we see that the girl that Vivi has this attachment to is one of the confirmed dead. Mm -hmm. And so I took it more as a Vivi is trying to save the things that she deems dear to her, which all we knew at this time was, you know, this girl that would visit her at the theme park. Right. And now it does kind of paint that clearer picture of Matsumoto's like not playing any games at all. Like he's right. he's keeping Vivi on a very tight leash, right? You know, and 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 at whatever cost. You know, obviously he he like ripped her entire arm off with that excavating construction yeah. monster. So, um, but this is all visual stuff, though, right? Like this isn't stuff that's actually happening. No. Oh, so that okay? So I thought it was. I thought it was actually happening. No. no okay, but yeah. what, 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 what do you mean not, not happen, actually happening? Like the plane did explode and she did die. Is that okay? What you mean, no, or? I mean, no. I just meant like, were those things actually playing like in real time? Because everything just changed that point so quick that I thought I like. There was, were... I mean, there was a. I took it as like there was a time skip between yeah. oh, you know okay. when they saved too. that one uh, senator or whatever to this is some time in the future that. You know they're kind of continuing on their mission, yeah. but Vivi obviously decides ah, okay. to, to do something else. Yeah, and he's like, I, think it's like, nah. I think that's where you're confused, right? It was time. Yeah. It was really, it was yeah, really well, abrupt, but, but it was. Yeah, it was well, abrupt. Reddit, it was definitely abrupt. Yeah, because Reddit, there's a couple threads on Reddit that was they were talking about how like this was all stuff that was kind of going like in her mind. When it showed all that information uh, mm. about how it was just like you know it was like a mental kind of like fight back and forth. But I, I, I had no clue. Yeah, I but I mean, that, that's an interesting idea that you do bring up. Not that. That so I, I don't happened. know, but I nobody knows something <laughs> of like you know we don't know enough yet of like maybe there are like quote unquote like tests that yeah. you know we as a viewer think is happening and then maybe it's just like you know a I simulation. I guess have to yeah. reread yeah. that thread again, Trent. I think you're overcomplicating it. I think it's just like a time skip, and then like yeah, it's just what we saw is like yeah, she tried. She, it's like what what we saw is like she wanted to save the the girl and she couldn't so yeah well that's what uh, yeah. i first took it as but then i went to reddit and then there was people that were saying other uh, you things, gotta trust i i took it and then i went much into it <laughs> so. yeah, yeah. But, but i think okay. uh i think if anything it adds more credence of that just being a time skip because i think like right before that when he was kind of telling her like you know how they're able to see the future he was he kind of clarified that you know with this power like we can't change like anything else like we need to stay to this like very strict but, uh, well, like schedule of what Matsumoto has planned to like quote unquote save humanity right. from these AIs, but right. But that's what. That, but that's how I thought. Like maybe like not even finding out. It's like it's a ReZero creator. Like I thought. Like Dave, I was like it could have that could easily make it sense like that too. Yeah. Or it's like uh, I don't know. I just I kind of I, I thought of it. I was like like a fairly interesting take where where the whole thing is like if he if he revealed everything to her and then like it was like in her mind or like basically where they're able to see like the the timeline. But then it was just kind of like a men <clears throat> almost like a mental fight of just like her trying to change. Yeah. Like, um, I mean, it, like it could the plan very well not be. crashing. You know, like, I, I don't know. I'm gonna wait till next episode before, before I comment. Yeah, I probably should just wait. I probably should just wait at this point. You're like you're confusing me, <laughs> sir. So I'm, I'm gonna, sorry, like, man. I, I don't I'm worry, friend. I I know what you're saying, and, and with the Rezir <laughs> Arthur, I could see like some big twist of like everything could be just some simulation from what we're seeing. Like we don't know what reality is in this world yet. Yeah. Um. But yeah, can't trust can't trust that bear. I think he's he's enemy number one, and I think as ReZero shows us, none of the main characters ever really have a a fun time. So I think we're in store yeah. for Vivi to really be put through the ringer. Well, what sucks though too is this, this show is only showing up as thirteen episodes. So I hope there's more. We'll see. Because um, I feel like thirteen, just kind of like how things I'm, are going, it I'm, sounds too short. I'm more worried that like because um because I know like uh. A great pretender like what's previous show like people are saying the ending wasn't really that good so oh god oh god so i'm okay, worried yeah. that's the only thing i'm really worried about this so we'll see 
we'll see if like having the Rezo Rider on makes a difference. But then again, yep. like his last show didn't really do much, so Okay, I'll just I'll just stop yeah. recording, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, you're good, man. We just need more. It's off to a good start. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. This is like so far like one of my one of the ones I'm most intrigued by for yeah. this season. One of my tops for the season, yep. Uh, although like, yeah. Just like just for me it's, it's just early. Like, <laughs> yeah. I think it's only for me just cuz like cuz cuz I cuz I know about a little bit of AI and machine learning, so just just nitpicking a lot of things, a lot of the technical stuff, like like the huge, <laughs> the huge, the huge tower they have. To, I have no idea why that tower is there, why you need a tower to send instructions to AI, because it's all in the, it's mostly all in the cloud. <laughs> you know, you need data centers, not this huge fucking tower. That like, if that what? tower goes down, you basically then... like you basically like get rid of the, all the information that the <laughs> AI needs. That's why you that's why you spread out all these data centers throughout the world. And have like all these things suffer for. They always have this, you know. Like the the Achilles heel, if you will, of like Skynet has, you know, like the one like location. <laughs> it's like, why does this why is there only one location in the first place? Like to your point, you know, we know in terms of modern world kind of things, but like, that would it's, never it's be the, the same case. show that, that that says like, oh a, a role, uh, AI can also time travel. So I, I can't that's like I can't that, well, argue that, I can't claims. argue he I claims. can't argue the logic when like the show does that. <laughs> but uh, just yeah, the, quick question. Just the the huge radio tower just really bothers me. So like you Did, don't do that. Did they ever mention the year that this takes place? They didn't know. Hundred years. I. No, that, that, that's that's the future timeline, but like I don't know what the one. That yeah, we just know in. the distance between when the war. Okay. Between, I think yeah. maybe if you go back in that like code initiative, it may oh, be in that, that little thing in the corner. Yeah, that's like okay. counting the time yeah. to when Vivi, you know, gets like taken Good over call. that message. Yeah. So. Good call. I'll yeah. check that out then. But yeah, maybe David will be different in the future. Then maybe they they can see it. Maybe maybe we'll need those giant tower trees. No, <laughs> guys, you guys don't get it. This is basically Dragon Ball Z like timelines, right? Where whatever Damn. they do, it's gonna like split the the future into like a different universe, right? So you're telling me Vivi change... Vivi is the trunks of this series. No, no, no. Matsumoto is the trunks of the series. Ah, uh, oh right, right, right. Yeah, right. Guys, guys, when oh. we start Go go ahead, Justin. Uh, last point, and this is a really stupid point, so apologies. <laughs> but when uh, Matsumoto first showed up in Vivi's like um, music room, that's in like the the internet hub. Did anybody uh, else feel like he looked like Whe- Wheatley from Portal? A little black, you guys, you a guys little black. Portal, Portal Two, the little you <laughs> yeah. know circle sphere. It's, it's like, been a while. Oh. Okay, well, it's been a while. I, mean, I, I, I first I, thought of the I, little ball from Destiny. Yeah, I thought the yeah. little ball from Destiny was yeah. more recent, but oh, Portal makes more that's sense a good one too. too. Yeah. 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 yeah, Portal's a good one. Yeah. yeah, but so anyways, but, stupid. Yeah, I, I, again, yeah. I, I'll say again, like like her uh, her her AI thing was like it's they call it a database, but it's the, it's a cloud. She's in the cloud. Yeah, and the, the the archive as they call it. It's it's, 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 it's a cloud. It's not a database. But it's, again, I can't. I can't it's how nitpick. we know it, David. <laughs> it's how we know the cloud. Probably, probably Maybe on the Amazon. Terms that, probably on my Amazon <laughs> in that future as well. But, but. Probably, yeah, yeah, they are they are Skynet. So. Anyway, I'm done. But that's yeah. Vivi. Even though, even it's though, far away even longer though, than I expected. Even though to talk I nitpicked, I still, I'm still, yeah, still looking forward to it. So we'll see, we'll see what. Hell yeah! So that, yeah, that's it for that's our, our first big show of the spring season is Vivi, and then um, our next show. Let's see. We um, uh, we can go to uh, Megalobox. I didn't get get to watch this, so I'll let you guys carry this first episode. Let me know quick. how how it was. Yeah, they they I, kind of just. Oh, sorry. Go Actually, ahead, I, was, I was the first thing I was like, asked. Like, is this like, is this like takes place like in the future or is this like after, yeah. after seven the years yeah. after seven years? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But the new, new dumb characters. part of this, uh, sure, one okay. that we've well, seen so far. Yeah. But okay. you're following Joel around. So. Yeah, main oh, okay. MC, which I got confused at the beginning. Like, it took me a little bit before to realize, like, oh, it's actually Joe. Oh, it's actually the same guy. <laughs> like, they're because can... the how the first season ended. Like, how I brought this up to Justin before is how everything was just uh, how the first season ended. They kind of did like a little time skip in the future. How everybody was happy. Everybody was celebrating. The guy was survived, but in a wheelchair. And then at the beginning of this show or th- this season is they basically they show Joe in the future where he's just crazy depressed about stuff where this, the, he's on drugs he's drinking everything else wow he's okay. still fighting but he's fighting with his like yeah exactly i was like what the fuck just happened so yeah. and then a lot of that a lot of that stuff in the middle we have no clue what happened um that's that's what really what i have just to let you go uh, just to no, let I, you I, take I, over yeah i think the the coup's point of maybe could you can a bigger picture if i miss anything was the the time gap that we have of you know last we left off with joe he was the winner of the first uh 
Megalobox or whatever that that term Megalomania. Is really. Megalomania. Yeah. Um, I always want to think of like Metroidvania, but anyway. <laughs> um, so we know, you know, there's that time gap. We know that this, I guess, typhoon happened, and that really like fucked up a lot of like different parts of either like Japan or the world. Um, and so, yeah, then then to your points, right? You know, now we kind of jump forward to Joe, who you know has grown a very scraggly beard and is you know fighting now in these underground, you know, uh, match fights and but he's kind not of throwing them. He's just beating the shit. Yeah, no longer, yeah, no longer fixing them. He's he's obviously yeah. not going to do what he was, you know, forced to do at the beginning of season one when we first saw him. But yeah, um, no, I I think personally for me, I, I'm looking forward to it. I'm hoping, you know, as you said, you know, we get to see what happened in between those years that really kind of drove Joe to the PTSD and kind of issues that he's currently facing with just you know being addicted to to painkillers and all these things and really being caught up on uh, that one trainer of his mm -hmm. who you know was fixing the matches and, and all these things against you know his own wishes all the way up till the end mm -hmm. um so yeah I, i'm definitely looking forward to it i've always really enjoyed the art style and especially the soundtrack that they use um i know this episode particularly seemed to focus a lot on like uh spanish speaking focus yeah so i wish you know my spanish was a little bit better in terms of like the song that uh Ooh, the one guy is here. playing in, in the bar yeah we really do <laughs> Uh, or I'm sure I'm sure yeah or Sasha I'm sure you know that song with if you knew the the, the English lyrics maybe that kind of plays into like uh something contradictory of like what Joe's dealing with or something but I couldn't help but but notice that with with that character that they were kind of having those subtle like drops of everything with that Spanish focus right um yeah, yeah. Yeah, not like not that you mentioned the stuff like, I mean I still really like the first season even though I thought kind of towards the end it got a little bit uh, it, it it didn't like really finish off with a strong ending, but then how this one started, like you're know, kind of just completely passing, um, uh, like the like the time like kind of time skip in the future from the end of the first season, where they kind of just uh, I don't know if, maybe maybe that's still canon. Like I'm like because we like again we don't know what happened with the typhoon, like but it, it seems like uh it, I'm assuming that quite a few people uh, died because we have not seen the kid either. The kid's just gone. Um, because we, we haven't seen him, the coach is gone as well, and I think those are those are really the only two main people in his team, right? I don't think there was any. Was there, I don't think there was any girl. Um, also, Yuri's not like nowhere, uh, or we haven't seen him. Yeah. So I don't yeah, know. So but to your point, you know, hopefully we get to see what happened to you know the others of the group of Joe. Um, yeah, I feel like this is gonna be a lot of like a lot of the season is just gonna be going through, basically going through him and then just showing flashbacks, a bunch of flashbacks. Yeah. yeah, I feel it's going to be more more of the same. Honestly, I think, you know, maybe we'll get more of an emotional attachment of like, you know, Joe kind of dealing with his baggage. Mm -hmm. um, but honestly, I personally think and I know it's probably way too early to say, but if you know, if you enjoyed the first season of Megalobox, I think you're really in for for more of the same in terms yeah. of it's probably it's going to be a rotation of, you know, different fights, people, you know, overcoming kind of their their ideologies or things that they're struggling with. And mm -hmm. That's what you're just going to see is like, you know, every few episodes is going to be another, you know, match fight between hopefully, you know, different fighters and maybe some returning fighters as well. I, for yeah. me, I actually feel like if anything, I think they're going to have less of the boxing aspect of it and just more of kind of like Joe's like uh, personal issues. Hmm. Um, That'd be interesting. Just kind of how they just how they go. Because the thing is, like, I also noticed because before Joe was he was not fighting with his like gear at all. But this one, he's fighting with his gear, which I kind of I'm also kind of wondering why, like what made him changed change that because he was just fighting without it before yeah um because he he made his name off of no gear i mean and then the whole and the whole thing is like he fought yuri with no gear and now he's back with the gear so i wonder if like we'll kind of get like a if any kind of explanation about that as well yeah uh, I'm, I'm sure we will besides like old said. besides old age <laughs> so. yeah no like it's basically like what justin said right like everything was going great season one happy ending and then you know seven years goes by and a lot can happen in seven years yep. and uh yeah now you get to see the aftermath of what happened so yep. uh yeah should be i'm assuming a very serious type of season where oh, you yeah. figure out what led to joe's current condition yep. so um, no, I'm looking forward to this one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I'm sure. definitely looking forward to to um the one character uh, chief that we got introduced to because I feel like oh, he's yeah. almost going to become a not mentor figure to Joe, but 
um, a rival or something? I, either like a rival or someone that really pulls him out of the 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 hole that he's in right. mentally. Um, yeah. And the only reason I think that is, you know, even looking at kind of the the promo art of the title, I noticed there's a hummingbird that they feature. Yeah. Yeah. And if you remember towards the end, that's what Chief has like hanging in his in his truck is like the little hummingbird. Well, I thought um, I thought he had a mark and, on his his like oh, yeah, gear too, on his right? armor too. Yeah, 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 yeah. on yeah. his yeah fighting gear. So. So, I, so quick question: um, was was he the one that actually hit the wolf then? I, I didn't who, think about it. Who Joe? No, no not not Joe. Uh, you know, at the very end, Koo, when uh, Joe's driving through the desert and he finds the wolf's been hit and it's dead, and he goes and buries it. Uh, Threatens asking if Chief, when he left in his truck, if Chief was the one that potentially killed that wolf. Oh. Uh, I think it maybe could I don't be. Know. It might be a long shot, been, but, but it, might, I, yeah, it might be a stretch. There. I'm already trying to look yeah. for like symbolism. <laughs> so. No, there definitely is, you know, because we saw the wolf in you know the first season a little bit, and then right. now in this season we saw it twice. We saw it the first time when Joe's driving through the snow and he's telling it to get out of the way, and then you know he he bitches yeah. out and crashes his motorcycle, and then Worst, now you have the yeah. second time yeah. that he finds it, and he's just like, oh, okay. Well, well, that, like, I took it more so as like he's putting that part to rest. Yeah, because the first season, like, the wolf was just, like, you know, I don't want to say, like, beefed, but he didn't look like he had any kind of war scars, nothing like that. And then when we see him, like, when you see, we see the wolf the first time, like, he just looked beat, like, beaten, battered, like, old, everything like that. So, I, and then, of course, and then and he was hit, and then he buried it. But I didn't even think about that, though. Yeah, so. There's yeah. definitely symbolism. Oh, yeah. To be had, so. Yeah, but this is going to be, this is going to be a, it. yeah, I think this is hopefully going to be, like, a hype season. Thing. I'm just surprised Agreed. that like this is all continue. I, when I saw the sequel announced, I thought it was gonna be like a whole new cast. Like they're just gonna leave out behind season one, just do more boxing. Yeah, I'm surprised nope. they continue. Same on. old Joe. I was gonna ask um, Justin if you know like is this like at all related to Ashley and old Joe or like is it just like mm, I think there's definitely an homage there with but the not, name. It's not like a and I want to say that I read something. No, okay. I don't think much further than that. That's why I, I think it's, I, it is just as a boxing show okay. being like, hey, Ashley and old Joe yeah. is like okay. the one that solidified boxing. The first season, I remember watching I, something about that. I thought that there was like some. I thought it was supposed to be something like that, but I wasn't sure, so I didn't know if you knew that or not. Yeah, I don't think they ever reference it but definitely from like you know the creators and everything like they have yeah. mentioned like yeah this is us you know tipping our hat to uh, the, the predecessors or to okay. the legends of this okay. of this genre all right but okay. i think i think yeah, that's again up, much uh, longer yeah. than i thought <laughs> make a box yeah um so that's second second up show of the spring season um what else we have um we can talk i guess me and justin talk a little bit about um moriarty season two that just yeah. aired or I guess like it aired a week early. I mean, you talk about last week, so we'll just talk about talk about this week because it's still the first episode. So, yeah. Um, uh, what do you think, David, of this first episode? It, it felt more like the same as first season, but I mean, not saying not saying that's bad. Just like it's just what I expected. Uh, we didn't get mm-hmm. like any. Usually, usually we it's like episodic with like the cases, but we didn't even get that this time. It's just like it feels like more of an overarching plot of like. Because the last season ended like with like the queen and like how they had to like get this thing that was stolen and then now, like, um, I guess like Sherlock's brother was like is also is like it's higher up in in the empire. He's part of like the secret intelligence like MI six type yeah. of that time frame. Yeah, and then like Irene too, like just what whatever she's up to. So yeah. we'll see. I don't know. I yeah, still enjoyed no, it. I know. I... I think, you know, it, it, it knows what it does well. And exactly like you said, you know, we're we're really just picking off where we left off from from the last part. Um, and this episode really was just more setup, more introduction to a new cast of characters of Sherlock's brother, of Irene, who, you know, in her own right, kind of has similar. I wouldn't call it like detective tendencies, but she definitely kind of like specializes in like misdirection. And things of that nature. So I think she's, she's going to be a very welcome what, what, addition. There's that that one term like in literature, like 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 Femme Patel, whatever. Like the 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 girl that like, you have to be careful of that because she like, can yep. kill you it's, or whatever. It's like um uh from if you guys ever watched any of like the Loop in the Third series, it's like uh, Fujiko Mine. I didn't. That's watch basically what I, Irene is. Oh, okay, but uh, yeah, no. To your point, it's exactly like that Femme Fatale character yeah. that is just really good at you know infiltration, misdirection, and. Now that she's kind of, you know, using Sherlock for for some different means, it it adds a good dynamic because I I will be honest, like I love, you know, Sherlock and, and Watson and kind of that iconic duo that they have. But I'm really glad that they're bringing in, you know, this breath of fresh air 
of new characters for us to uh, enjoy. Oh, so when last time me and Ted were talking about it, like I was saying, I don't really like Sherlock. This edition of Sherlock just because like he's just so hmm, goofy. Okay. Like I'm so used to Sherlock. It's just like a <laughs> serious is. character. Like 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 Robert Downey Jr. or you know Benedict Cumberbatch. I'm not used to him as like mm-hmm. this weird like anime version of like some some guy who's like just like I don't know. He seems so like even though he's like he's so he's so really smart. He like he's so aloof and like just like. Yeah. Just so like, I take it then you you weren't a fan of the uh the initial confrontation between Sherlock and his brother. Yeah. When he like just, barges in and he shoots him with I, a paintball I just, gun. I just see Sherlock as such just the serious character. So it's it's so weird seeing him here. So definitely. That's it, why it I, definitely is a an interesting rendition like, that they're taking. I don't know. That's all like m- like Moriarty is still like my favorite of of the characters. Oh, so, yeah. Like definitely. I mean I, I still I still like um I guess I like having like you know the mind games between the two, even though, like I was saying like too like the one that the show doesn't really give you, it doesn't really give the audience a chance to guess anything. It's just like you're just there for the ride. So, yeah, that's fair. But I sure. still enjoy the story. I'm still rooting for Moriarty because I think because yeah, I guess this is like I guess the whole point of this show is just to show show Moriarty's not he's not just like the villain in like every other Sherlock Holmes thing. It's like he's mm-hmm. well he's there's more to him than that. He's killing so. with a, a purpose and a reason. Yeah. That, you know, when you do and break it, it down, it does have some, ju- some justice to it, even though it's not done in the, you know, cleanest manner yeah. that most people would try to do, I guess. And I mean, if you see, like, just, you know, the, the time here, like Victoria and London and that they're in, it's like, it makes sense. So. Definitely. No, I'm, yeah. I'm a sucker for, for that time period as well. I love all that stuff. So that's probably added to a little bit of my, uh, favoritism for for this show oh. in particular so no. but yeah so, I, I i think we're in we're in store for you know more stuff of season one and i i think to your point yeah. you know hopefully we get to see more of sherlock and moriarty because that really is like the the big kind of you know match fight that we're just waiting to for them to finally be you know i know they've already had their yeah. first face-to-face interaction but something larger also more of like um uh moriarty's like his crew like like there's still people we don't really know much about like like the mm-hmm. I the, the one Irish. like Colonel and the kid. I can't remember yeah, their names. The names. But... Like the kid, especially. Like it's like it just felt like they just popped out season one, and it's like so. I hope we get to see more of them this season. Agreed. So, so yeah, that's so, just yeah. our little, little bit of uh, more already. So we'll see more of that. Move on to our next show. Uh, we'll talk about the big one right here, My Hero Academia. Good, good. Right on uh, time. The, the first, we got uh, I'll, I'll say like the first legit <laughs> episode because last. Last season was again much more like a recap like they always do every season, but yeah, yeah. typical first legit. my hero episode zero stuff. Yeah. So, so yeah. I guess the first thing I want to ask is like, what do y'all think about like Cox and like how I don't know, like him having to infiltrate League of Villains? Like it just seems to me it seems so obvious like that. But, like, who, why would you ever want to trust Hawks if you're in, if you're a League of Villain person? Like I don't know, it seems so obvious that he's he's not really there to help you out. Hmm. Uh, unless there's more that we just don't know yet. Yeah, I, I can't say anything since I <laughs> read oh, the manga. you read the manga. Okay, never yeah. mind. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I'm, still, your... I'm still interested to hear your guys' what are your thoughts, on thoughts about him. Uh, um, I, mean, I, just, I like Hawks. Go ahead, Brian. I think he's a cool character. Agreed. But, like, yeah. the whole the whole thing of him having to, like, infiltrate League of Villains, like... Um, I mean, I can understand, like, them choosing Hawks, of all people, to, like, try try to be a double agent because i mean to be honest he looks kind of sus to begin with wow it's not even, just, not even wow. that but he also kind of mentions that there's not many heroes he actually looks up to because uh, he he actually likes um um endeavor. Endeavor. endeavor he likes endeavor which endeavor really hasn't been seen as like a popular <laughs> hero um it, oh, they yeah. showed us like a, like a like a like a little bit of uh kind of hawks's backstory as well it doesn't seem like he has like the highest um highest thoughts of like a the like the typical hero. So that so that could also play play a part of it. Yeah. I mean they they did hint like this man like has his own like agenda and he'll do whatever it takes to get it done. Mm-hmm. So I think kinda of wanna yeah. know what his like personal goals are. Well I think he was too saying too how um he doesn't like again he he doesn't like um the way that heroes are in the society where it's more about being a celebrity than helping people. So like yeah. Like that, a lot is what his one of his lines is like like think about the long term goals. So I think he's like, 
and he's trying to like yeah change that about like the hero society they try and make them like more help helpful people and so just celebrities well, that's yeah, the thing man. with that's the thing with uh endeavor and all might because they basically both took it as a job instead of uh for a cele- like the celebrity part of it even well, though all might was still having fun with it but... i think all might well, just I, i'll say i think all, all might i feel still... like has obviously a much more like he's more of a, the justice like the the, the stereotypical he, hero yeah. hero men- mentality like he just wants to save people whereas i right. think endeavor is it's like he's just saw as, i think he saw it as a competition and he just want to be yeah endeavor just one. wants to be number one and be right. you know the iconic hero that's remembered for well all originally of time. <laughs> I, I think originally, originally but now it's like but now it's like with endeavor like he's kind of giving like getting like his own like personal like uh his own personal what is it uh i'm so, like okay so like endeavor in this episode i know he's trying hard to atone but i still I'm still taking the side of like 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 Todoroki and like his brother, like I just still see him as like the assholes, like who basically like like put his family through hard time just to get yeah. what he wants. Uh, it's hard to just well, you know I mean, reinsert yourself. I'll oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. I, it's like that man didn't wasn't the greatest father. We have a lot of that <laughs> anime. Like, no. I don't think I don't think and, like years of shit that he's done, and now he's just trying to pop back in and be like, "Hey, we cool?" And hey, he's like, nah, you know, like, I, we ain't yeah, cool. Like. like <laughs> I, He's I don't know. Effort, but yeah. go, sorry, go ahead, Brian. I don't know any family that like has like, yeah, sure, open arms, like welcome back to the family after right. literally physically abusing your youngest son and your wife. And oh, everybody, I think of everyone else. And yeah, yeah, yeah they did they they said something about their another older brother. Yeah, yeah, Toya. Like, was that always a thing? I don't remember him. I don't remember him either. I don't think, I don't think we ever like, mentioned him. Was that like the first... I think they've been he's been mentioned, but you haven't seen like him in any flashbacks or anything. Because like... he has he has he has two sisters, right? Not just the one that was at the table. He has another sister, doesn't he? Or is that just her? Dude, they I don't have... remember another okay, sister. Never mind. They are just remembering wrong. Yeah. No, I could <laughs> be wrong too. So I'd have to double but... check on that. But yeah, as far as Toya goes, I think they've only mentioned him in name in the past from an anime aspect, but you have no idea kind of either what he looks like or what was really going on with him. Um, but the part that I really enjoy in that kind of interaction with the family is one, you know, the, the older brother really kind of just saying what everybody is, is feeling and, and not wanting to say, because, you know, the, the sister and Todoroki uh, are trying to, you know, more mend that relationship at this point, but they are the younger, you know, siblings. Um, the part that I really liked is when Todoroki makes the comment about Endeavor's scar and, you know, it pans to Todoroki's <laughs> oh, yeah. scar and he's just like, hey, nice scar. And it's just yeah. like, you know, one of those like subtle jabs. So yeah, and um, it also zooms up on Todoroki's eye, too. <laughs> yep, exactly. So, uh, no, I, I thought that was great. And I, I agree with Brian's point of, you know, them really driving Hawks as this kind of, you know, even though he is in the number two spot. And, you know, we have all these kind of different viewpoints of what heroes themselves view to be kind of ideological or, or justice and, and all these things. It, he'll definitely be kind of an interesting character to, to learn more about. Um, and what I, I also think is you kind of get a glimpse into the hero uh, society or the company that runs, you know, the hero organization that they're kind of, you know, open to do more kind of shady things as well. Because, you know, when Hawks get pulled in, he's like, you know, what do you guys want me to do? And they're just like, hey, we want you to infiltrate because we know that you're like willing That's... to do stuff that no other hero will do. I mean, I, I guess. Yeah, I guess I just thought he didn't have like... a choice. They're twisting his arm uh, like you're going to do this. Like... Yeah, I guess I didn't see it that way. Yeah, I just thought it was just a really weird decision just because like I just didn't think that like the League of Villains would trust like a high ranking hero like that. So it's just a weird no, decision. So I, t- I, t- I totally agree with that. Like the logic of the League, you know, they're not idiots as we've seen in previous Meh. seasons. So it is it is weird <laughs> for them to just be like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Like, we know you're the number two hero, but yeah, we'll let you in. Um, so I, I agree with that. But I guess it, that kind of gives more credence to the interaction between Dobby and Hawks not being on the same page. And Dobby, you know, being like, hey, I just told you we were going to test out a Nomu. Like, you know, I didn't tell you how powerful it was going to be. And then from Hawks' side, they were like, well, we didn't know you were going to bring, you know, Endeavor, the number two hero. So they're still both, you know, clashing pretty heavily of like, they don't trust yeah. each other one yeah, so, bit. So it's like, good luck trying to get higher than that, because you're right <laughs> off to a bad start. Yeah, right. No. Um, no, I'm I'm just, uh, I'm a big sucker for, for Dobby as well, obviously from my profile picture and stuff, but... Um, <laughs> I uh, mean, he just seems like the most capable of the group, like, I mean... Yeah, same. He's the only one I care about in League of Villains. I think the, le- the rest of them are trash. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> I, I, I mean, like, like, 
like, I guess like you know like Tomura is like he his power enough is like he's still pretty strong but like it just seems like yeah I have all of them I just feel I feel like Dobby's the most like menacing like I'd be the most scared of him yeah right so. I mean especially when he's he's remembering the uh the snack hero that he killed uh from last season and he starts just bleeding from uh his stitches oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's a he's a freaky dude that's all I can say he's he's, he's messed up yeah he, he's really the only one I care about for League of Villains. <laughs> But uh, well, no. What were your guys' thoughts on uh Deku's involvement in the later half of you know going to this uh? I had to quote unquote vision I remember, world. That story was the, nice. I remember I some it. stuff from like the last part of the last season. So, but it was more of that. And yeah, I guess I guess this is how like you give him more power. It's just like just having him like constant like do like the flashback <laughs> of like the predecessors. It reminds me of like, this Avatar almost like. Like oh, yeah. you pass it on, and then you have you talk to your predecessors, and you're in that dream state. So, yeah. so can we say that he has massive airbending in his sleep? <laughs> I think that would be fair. I mean, what wasn't Gentle um, Criminals like power like the air, the air stuff, or the? Uh, oh, he was able to like vib- vibrate whatever. Oh, that was like some sort of airbending, well, but well, Deku does his little flick, flick airball things too. You know, he has air shots. Air shots. There you go. Oh, okay. Yeah. You don't remember those? No, I remember those. But then he he basically woke up with his hand extended, and he did like a key blast in a sense with his with his hand open. So that's why I was thinking more airbender. Oh, I think or do. what it was was he he put his alarm at the wrong time, so he just grabbed that shit. <laughs> oh no, yeah. Walked it through the window. He's like, Fuck <laughs> okay. out of here. I like that. Relatable. I like that. Yeah. Relatable. Um, the funny thing for me was uh. I don't know why, but the voice of the um, younger brother oh, of, it was uh, One for All, I, I never thought that would be the voice that they would use. Like That voice I, really bothered me, actually. Yeah. I think, okay, yeah. I, I don't remember like who it is, but like, I swear I heard that voice before. I swear he's like a main character in a bunch of like comedies or like, like etchy shows. I think that's why oh, it really? doesn't fit. Like, <laughs> He's, he's not he's... a serious character at all, so like I sw- that's why it bothered me, too. Was, like, I know this voice from somewhere, and it's like, it's a really... It's someone who like does like not like serious voices, so yeah. yeah. And it's like when you compare it to you know one for, oh, for all, all who has this deeper, more menacing voice, and then you completely contrast to his younger brother, and, and maybe that's why they did it because they wanted to have such a stark like difference, but it, it obviously didn't work so out. So that I, flashback, I'm glad you guys felt the same. Of was that basically saying that one for all he gave the power all? What was it? No, no, all for one. He basically gave that power to his brother. That's how it was created. That's what I it looked like. Though okay. I, I think it was, um, I, I think it was he was trying to give him a power that he can use, and then well, uh, something else happened in between. Well, they mentioned that he was like in a weak state. I mean, what right. what, what, what yeah, better like... quirk to give than all the, the All Might <laughs> one? Yeah, I th- I can't remember if they mentioned it in early season of like other flashback that we see between them, but uh, it'll, it'll definitely become more clear as we go okay. on. But obviously, as we see from one for all, like his main goal is to just use everybody to his benefit uh, okay. like, he doesn't say, really like, have yeah. like friends or assume, allies yeah i just assume he gave him the quirk for it like it's just i just was just noticing this a lot in anime like i don't know if it's like always been there like just just so many cults in anime and just like when he was talking about how oh like like these are my two two new followers and oh and they're just praising him like oh you saved me i'll follow you forever <laughs> yeah. i'm just like wow there's a lot of cults in anime. Like, is, is I don't know, if this is a new thing or like because we had a lot in the last season and some previous anime as well. I was like, it's just, just very like cults are very popular things to have as a villain in, in animes. So cults and villain, uh, cults and religion. Churches. Yes. Yeah, religion. Yeah, religion is yeah. the big one. Which, yes. which is basically cults, me too. So it's like. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Yeah. No, no, I'm saying like, well, you're, uh, like you're not wrong. You're like, treading on you know, dangerous territory, like, sir. Like a lot of the cults start off as like extreme religions. So. No, no, I will say in all the Yakuza territory. games, anytime a religion or cult is involved, it's always like <laughs> <laughs> those so. reasons of taking advantage of people like, and, but, and promising that, salvation. That's why right. I was like, like man, like these two followers just give a lot for this one leader who's gonna lead them to salvation. It's like my god. Yeah, I they mean, were that like, grateful. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's like one dude didn't want his powers, another dude wanted powers for self defense. So it's like he gave them both what they wanted. It's yeah. like, what I can the guy I do who to got powers look so like stupid. That? Yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. What do you like? I, what do you like? Bran- branch man? Like, it was you got a potato, man. It was legit. Like, <laughs> yeah, potato that's been hanging around for too long. I got roots. So, 
Red. That is perfect. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. Hey, hey, you know, if, if he's excited about that, you know, whatever. I don't yeah, know really what self defense that is. Go into the ground and just start <laughs> growing roots. Oh lord! Attack from below. People. Yeah, I don't he's know. horrible yeah. people. Honestly, it's better than uh, I guess the guy growing teeth into his own like back into his face or whatever that was oh yeah that his parents were like afraid of him and all that yeah stuff. i mean i guess i'd rather have become Dude, the potato man, man or... he was he was the jaw titan bro what do you mean oh yeah no i just i just want to say, it, know. <laughs> say it, it's it's people like you guys that make villains a thing you know what i'm saying like <laughs> you, you can't just society. leave a man alone hey, bro hey listen Rise, i'm gonna be honest if there was if there was a villain, I would full heartedly 100% follow to the end. It'd be Stain, dude. I'm not even gonna lie. Stain, yeah. <laughs> he is a pretty, pretty unique villain. Yeah, Stain was still one of my favorites. But um, I was mention But too, yeah, like, I think otherwise. Uh, oh, go I, ahead, David. Yeah. I didn't realize. Like, yeah, there was like I don't know. They mentioned this earlier. There was like was it eight or nine of the the passing on for um one for all. I didn't realize the power mm-hmm. was like that old. Like, because I thought I thought the quirks were like a relatively new thing. Unless, unless like people pass on like when they're like, I thought I thought the passing on was like when I, actually no I think I was thinking of it as like when they're at the end of their life but I guess maybe like pass like, you know, like they pass know, like their, their some year, people year. die before old age yeah, yeah. but they are still, heroes so even still I didn't realize like the powers were that I thought I, I thought the powers were more recent I didn't realize we had like eight or nine like passing ons already so yeah. More the more, point, the, it's the, like, you the know, world, like, not yeah. everybody's living the, the same length of life. And I don't think we've seen enough either of like, you know, how quickly does potentially this power burn you out? Uh-huh. Um, or furthermore, it could also just be a plot convenience of like, hey, the more predecessors we have, that's the more that, you know, Deku can maybe do well, with typical shown in try. It's just, it just, it just, it just everything to like, if you're going back that far, it's like, like, how old are like the, like, like, you know, all for one, one and his brother, it's like, I'll, like when did this yeah. all start of like their powers like where did this all like begin so maybe it began you know in zero AD right with Jesus Christ as the first, <laughs> first <laughs> okay but the power to give her the people. quirks yes yeah. the and, in this, and in this universe twenty percent of them did not have that power because they didn't believe in the power of Jesus Christ I, I, always, forget, I always forget that statistic where they're like oh yeah these twenty percent like either 20%? you know don't like have percent. No, they said it was like it's a, uh, yeah, it's 20, a pretty big percent. Yeah, yeah wow. it's a yeah. pretty big percentage. So it's kind of like when you think about it, you're like, the oh, there's a lot of Deku's in the world. Yeah, it's not surprised Deku's yeah. quirkless. It sounds like he's like the, it sounds like he's like the one percent he's not. But yeah, right. That's definitely a lot. how they pitch it. <laughs> so, but uh, I think otherwise, the last piece that they left it off on is the um, preview for ne- the coming like uh, test between the two classes. Yep. I was saying class yep. B. I will so. always take those in your academia. <laughs> Again, I want I want to see more more team fights, more like team comps. So I I don't want it just to be just you know Deku, Todoroki, and Bakugo running the show. Versus so, the world. <laughs> so like we have so much like people with unique powers, we gotta make use of it. So and they're very a lot of them are very like uh, specific too for so, certain situations. Actually, I was gonna say too the last the first episode I didn't I didn't realize like Mineta could actually do something useful with his stupid great balls. So, Useful. The guy has the guy has balls that it's like super glue. I mean, how? I, I guess I it's useful, but I hate the guy. No, so. yeah. I mean, but I think he's, he's obviously glue. he's obviously there for that purpose. Either like you hate him, or you're just there for the comedic relief of him. But the I, mean, uh, I feel personally the electric guy is much more better. And you always like yeah, Genki. He's <laughs> yeah. he's the good comedic I mean, relief, or the belly Genki, button, sir. the belly button laser. Yeah. Oh wow. god, the naval guy. Yeah, yep. that's right. Yeah. Good old, good old naval man. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I think you know we're in for oh god, a lot of good stuff this season is all I can say. And it seems like you know they're they're back committed to hopefully not having any drops in animation quality like what we saw last season. So. Well, we do have another movie coming out. So <laughs> wait, excuse me, what? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the summer, another hero movie. movie. Yep, another hero movie. I think it's filler. Probably not. Like they always been. <laughs> yep. Oh god. They probably yeah. won't be. Also, Maybe it's uh, sure. and, Bo- and Bones is working on another show this season too, the Godzilla one. I think. Oh, that's Bones. I didn't know I think, that. I, I thought the it was Godzilla Bones. Godzilla one. Uh, it's called uh, oh god, Singularity Point or something like that. Yeah, yeah Godzilla Singular Point. Yeah, I watched the first, first episode so oh, far. That's the first time I heard of it. Okay. And of course, I did not update my list yet with it. So I can't uh, I'll find say, it right I'll away. I was going to say, you know, Brian, when that third movie comes over here, you got to get your, yeah, it's your, your All Might Threat. I just looked it, it up. Is. 
Hell yeah, you already know. <laughs> I'll well, make sure you get the sub this time too. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna make sure we don't get the dub. Because <laughs> uh, no. that was uh never oh, again. Uh, Justin, I don't know if you knew that, but like when we saw the second Hero Entertainment movie, like we actually bought tickets for the dub version, so we watched it. In oh dub. no, that was, not that, bad. That was actually not not that bad, so it was fine. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah, guys, but it wasn't that bad, right? It yeah, it just wasn't that bad. No, it, it's better. I so I, I saw it subbed, but the sound system was like super fucked in the theater that I went to, so like oh. everything was like really quiet. So oh, what the? I, okay. I paid an I paid an equal price. We just had a bunch of like mm. annoying high school kids, like like just making noises. Oh, I I had that in the first movie. Oh my god, the fangirls every time Totoro or Bakugo showed up on screen. Well, well, you the second know? second movie, it was <laughs> second movie we had like Deku, Deku and Bakugo. Like fangirls came out too. So, oh yeah. man, I didn't I didn't have as many problems in the second movie as I did with the first movie. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, it was fun. It was fun. I can I can understand. Like, oh yeah. Yes, like yes. for for their age group and what they're watching. It's like, oh it's yeah. Like the equivalent. I, I... It's like the equivalent for us being like as old as we are like going okay, to a drag mall and Mr. getting Brian. hyped up no and getting no, hyped no, up for like super saiyan and shit right it's yeah, like going to like pokemon the movie for us when you know we're all younger and everything so oh, i totally yeah. get it yeah. uh, yeah. i'm actually happy for it like even though you know i talk shit about it but i'm glad to see <laughs> as you know we continue anime has become much more mainstream and you know oh, yeah. you get a wider kind oh, of yeah. group well, of people it's surprising that we oh, actually yeah, get remember... anime movies for once like right you know. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, I, back in the day, I remember getting shit for basically just watching anime. Um, and like, like, and this was like in middle school. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? And then now it's just like in the mainstream. That's for, like the norm. You're just like, yo, man, normal you, now. you know, you yeah. watch my hero, you watch Full Metal Alchemist, you watch, you know, Attack it's on awesome. Titan, obviously the biggest one. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, you don't have to hide it anymore. <laughs> wow. Trent, I'm not going to lie. Those days. Like, well, I feel like you hung out the wrong people. <laughs> yeah, probably. probably. I probably yeah. did. But at the same time, it's harder to like, you know, like, re, you know, but, like, but at a certain point. People. Now, yeah. when you mention, you know, Attack on Titan, more people than before, you know, know about it. A much wider range. You'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah I've heard of it. They may have not watched true. it, but they're like, oh, yeah, I know. I've heard of that. Like, yeah, I've so. never watched it, but I know everything about it. Anyway, we're getting way off. Any, yeah, I don't want to have anything about this this episode or this season here at Academia for you. Um, no? I don't know if you guys talked about last season, but. Uh, opening and ending song for me is meh. I'll give it like Same. oh, oh the opening. Right. I'm for the season. I'm Same. Just like, eh. so I'm I, very disappointed. I like the ending it, so. more. The ending is still eh, but it's yeah. it's better than the opening. <laughs> yep. But I'm liking Endeavor's kind of like where he's at least like a. I'm sorry, I kind of completely like missed that part. But like no, where he's no, actually where he's uh where he's like trying to like uh, amend stuff. Where he's actually like it's like he's doing his own like uh his uh God I keep blanking on the fucking word redemption. Uh, basically he has like his redemption arc like, he's actually trying like, i don't completely hate the guy now uh and the thing is like when they're actually like, you know like you you're, like almost yelling at him and everything else like, like he's not like yelling back he's basically taking it because he knows he's in the wrong yeah so it's for me, uh for me it's very hard to forgive characters so like i yes. need more so but he's trying Gina that's, can that's, do that's it more than I, that's I, more than I, a I, lot I, of other like other characters that we've agreed. seen like you, they're usually sure, like, they're usually like, evil from the beginning that, to the end that's but. just me like i like I am very hard to forgive like people for the action, so like it's gonna take a lot more for me. You're the reason why people don't care about second chances, David. <laughs> Ooh, exactly. <laughs> so well, what's a dick? Always a dick. <laughs> not that. Just like I need more. Mm, yes, so that's, that's gonna be it for here, Academia. We're in it there. So, <laughs> one of the big shows for this season. Get hyped. Move on to our next show, uh, Shaman King. Like, oh yes, Brian. Did you watch this? I did not. Oh okay. Is yeah. it like Netflix exclusive? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, I'll, I'll, I'll share. think about it. I'll share okay. some uh, information with you. Uh, later, the one Brian. thing I want to say, like, okay, well, actually, I'll, I'll put this up first. That like, well, actually, no, friend, is this a show that you want to ask? Yes. Yeah. I just had okay. a quick, 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 quick thing. So yeah. Um, never. Uh, I just wanted to ask, actually, ask uh, Justin and Koo this. Um, sure. you both watched the original series, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, how different or on point was it from the original series this episode? Uh, so, it was basically oh, go ahead, point, for what I remember. Yeah, it's pretty much on point. The very beginning of this episode is different, though, when they show the, oh. the birth of the twins. That wasn't mm -hmm. uh, originally showed in the first episode of uh, the dub, you know, here back when it originally aired. Um, but 
to Ku's point, yeah, everything else that occurs in this episode of the introduction of, you know, Yo and, and Manta or Morty, as he was in the, oh the English God. version was back in the day. <laughs> that, yeah, they had to, they a, had to take some liberties kids? with the uh, four kids yeah, situation. Four, yep. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> okay. um, I just want to say like, everything else from this episode. Held that up. intro like flew by so fast. I was like, wow, they're just speeding by through this with like, like the birth and like the, the twin and stuff. Like, I was like, what I'm is okay going on here? Like, um also kind of like a little bit after like the intro the i ne- no, never really watched the original shaman king series but i knew that opening song um that's that's on the opening song for this oh, one man. i know it's, I know it's the same same person i missed i, I, I yeah, yeah, missed the version of <laughs> make an unbreakable bond Actually, okay, know, beyond you okay i'm sorry it's I know, so hype it's I know so hype you posted a while ago, a kid, Justin. I, I, I still haven't seen the english version i should i should watch it Soon, so. I have to oh, watch the man. English one. I don't Honestly, remember the English. The Only English Japanese. opening is is so corny, but it's so fitting to the time of hey. like you know late nineties, yeah. nineties openings we're, were yeah. so we're good. All, we're all it's, fans it's of basically 90s. the One Piece open of like the ya yo ya yo. It's like we're, we're all yeah, fans so. of nineties <laughs> here, right? It's, yeah. it's, I love nineties you know, music. As, as much so corny as four kids did, they had some bangers for their they opening did. songs. They like, did. To to be fair, this is back when we were kids, and it might be a nostalgia thing, right? Oh no no no. Yeah, no, it's good, good songs, um, guys. Come on, right? But yeah, this this new opening, it just doesn't hit the same, you know. I just I already <laughs> forgot. I watched it today. I already forgot what it sounds like. It's so forgettable. It's funny. It's someone good. someone like on it. Reddit put over the original English opening over oh, it, and it did. fits like perfectly with like, <laughs> like this oh, oh, and everything. Yeah. I'm just uh, like, damn, like this is what I need. Like, just give me that. So. Um, no, you guys should share that in our, our anime Discord so I can. Uh, yeah, yeah I'll, after I'll share it. Um, no, it's sorry. Go ahead, David. No, as I was say about the episode, just very short standard shonen. Although I, I don't like like the I don't like it when like the shonen designs are, are like small. Like when they they look tiny. I know it's supposed to be like, like thirteen, whatever. They still look tiny. Especially that that one like that mm. one other kid, like Manta or Morty. Like he's so fucking tiny. I don't he's like that character design. He's he's tiny in the original. He's yeah. Uh, I just don't, I just don't, yeah. I just don't like that character design. And then even the main character, it's like, man, you're so tiny for a thirteen year old. I... But then, Honestly, like, but, like, but then, like, everyone in the school is, like, normal, so it's just really weird. So that's, like, the only thing that gets me, like... Dude, the personality of the MC, I, like, I love that MC. Like, it's basically chill, just, like, just, yeah. like just, just chill, nonchalant, basically. Like, it is. But, but he's someone... I like I, mean, I like how, like, he's someone who's born into a shaman family, so there's no, like, oh, I just got this power for the first time. It's like, hey, I come from a family of shamans. I'm badass, yeah. so yeah, let's do it. Yeah, yeah, I do. I have, I have like no really complaints about this episode. I've never watched, like I said before, never watched the original series. Like, uh, I, I don't even really like. Besides, like him being a shaman, I knew nothing. I still really don't know anything about like the premise. Besides, Same. it sounds like he's just have to hunt down his like twin brother now to stop whatever. Um, uh, I don't know. It was a demon or a spirit or something that's like in Spirits. control of him. Uh, oh, I mean, demon incarnation. One quick, one quick yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. One quick thing at the beginning with his like <clears throat> his uh, twin sibling that they showed. That was probably yep. the ugliest, oldest looking fucking baby <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Like that, that like is- the animation of that baby. I thought like Dude, this, this guy came out eighty. Like, <laughs> like that's, uh, so that's exactly how he looks in the even in the manga. Oh, does he? Okay. Because yeah. uh, when I saw yeah, because when I saw that, I was like, damn. Like, yeah, he, 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 he ain't a cute looking baby. That's that's for yeah, sure. yeah. I uh, that is all. I'll say, yeah, the main main character got the the better end of the gene pool there. Agreed. Well, actually, so. it's a bit, well, we never saw what he looked like as a baby, but I would assume it's a very chill baby and didn't cry. Yeah. Again, but guys, the perfect uh, baby. There was a demon reincarnation spirit there as well, so you know it's not really their fault that they look like shit, but that's just how it is. <laughs> it's the, it's yeah, the demon. He didn't ask right. to be, you know, born on the, you know. Whatever ceremony of this demon <laughs> spirit coming back, and he didn't ask to be a prune. I just thought yeah. it was funny how the, the dad like tries to protect him, and then the next thing you see him, he's just like his whole face bandages. is just wrapped up in bandages. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like he's just sitting there, like you know, just chilling. And I mean, he's just fully bandaged. I like the effort. I mean, that's just the vibe. Of this whole show, it's it's very chill, like very like. Yeah. Reminiscence of like yeah, like old school. Honestly, yeah, anime. it's chill, old school shonen, but more so, it's just literally tournament arc. The anime, like this oh, entire is show, is just the tournament. I'll take that too. Like okay, I was gonna say it's interesting, but, but it does it in spirits. a good way. It does it in a good way. <laughs> I, I I really like the music they they're using as well. Like it sounds, it almost sounds like new, but it has like that like the old like that old feel to it. Uh, I don't know if you know, like notice like when uh he was first possessed by the uh the, by the samurai. 
and like the music that was playing mm-hmm. it definitely sounded like it like it had like those uh kind of like older vibes to it but it was but it sounded nice i don't know if, if you guys remember that at all I, don't, I, don't I mean, know. I feel like it fits the it fits the environment fairly well. That too, yeah. nice it's, yeah, it's aesthetically yeah. accurate yep. for what's yeah. kind of going on. Also, that samurai is badass. Like that, wherever that's Minamaru? Yeah. Yeah. Minamaru, yeah, yeah, <laughs> like th- that whole thing, like that whole like kind of like story. I thought it was actually really good too. Um, just like guys... a little uh, bit that they played with him and his like best friend. Yeah, yep. and the forging of the yeah. sword. Yeah. You guys said like the good. pacing is like pretty much the same as like the original, right? This is like. Basically, what happened? Uh, well, they, they might, yeah, they might pick it up because, uh, like Justin mentioned, that like, that whole opening intro, I don't think that was in the uh, the original. Okay. But then now that you see it, it would make sense why they make it on like Kids WB or whatever. Yeah, because that actually, shit was pretty dark. I actually so. did go back and skim through the the dub or the original first episode, uh-huh. and it was they ended on the, the pretty much the same point of like that finale with. Um, you know, uh, Yo doing the spirit bond with Amita Maru and then cutting off the the pompadour of Ryu or Ryo. Mm-hmm. So that was pretty much one by one. But I definitely agree with Kua. I think they're gonna start picking things up. I know for this season, I think they said they're greenlit for fifty fifty two. Yeah. How many was the original? I think it was sixty something. Yeah. Let me see. Okay. Um, it went on for a while. But... It went okay. on for a while, but the issue with the original was uh, they didn't adapt the whole thing though, did they? No, I, and, and the issue was out. that with the original, they actually went anime original pretty oh. early on, like well, I mean, around. It, so it sounds like this is like maybe a, like midway or something because yeah. they were catching up to the manga at the time. Oh. So there was it was kind of like what happened to Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, I'll say this. It sounds, like, it sounds like this is the Brotherhood treatment, basically. So. Pretty, exactly. But I didn't, realize, be, yeah. I didn't realize Shining was that popular to get like something like this. So too young. I mean, uh, I feel I mean... like Shaman King. Like, granted, I personally never watched Shaman King when I was. Brian, younger, you will like this. You will like Shaman King. I knew. I like my brothers love Shaman King. I think we had like a Shaman King game or something too. So it's oh, like dude. it was. It was. Hold it was up. always there. I always knew what Shaman King was, but I just <laughs> I never guess. bothered to watch it. But yeah. if it's getting like a Brotherhood treatment that Film of Alchemist did, I'm most at. Probably no, this this is this is going to be the this is the original source. I think they already said that that this is going to be following the the, the manga. That's it's what not I mean. Be, like um, Brotherhood, yeah, yeah, yeah. Th- this will so. be like the original, um, or this will be the uh the manga, or this will follow the manga, right? Oh, oh nice. my god, Justin! <laughs> wow. Yeah. Is so like you guys game? are uh, you guys you guys are officially in for a treat. If you guys like the first episode, I'm sure you'll like the rest of the. Uh, uh, the series. Um, I really then, like this first one. Yeah, yeah. I, it's it. I want to say the the artwork and the music. It's they basically just made it HD in a sense, but everything kind of stuck to like the original that's uh, what I source. Felt like, yeah. I'll yeah. take it. I'll take um, it. Brian, you like, will like this show though, definitely. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Honestly, like I'm, like I miss watching like running long running shows or like, shown in. So like I kind of I guess I was in the mood for it. So. David, I, I did until the Black Clover happened. And then, uh, <laughs> my, well, as long as you didn't get the Digimon treatment, like, I'm good. Yeah. Because oh, that yeah. shit, like, word the yeah. shit out so of me. Yeah. So I think you know? that's, that's the thing. It's like, as we continue here with the, the reboot or the Brotherhood treatment, hopefully we don't get what Digimon did. Yeah, yeah, I, like, I don't a, think we will. This one's like a full <laughs> yeah. reboot, man. I like, go so yeah, yeah. Right. right. As, as um, the only like person they, they, who's still they, watching they, the, the they, Digimon reboot. They, 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 Digimon, they like fully modernize and like reboot it, whereas like here's like, like it's still 1998. Like, yeah, you know. basically. No, Shaman King nails it in the style department. I would say they're kind of similar to like Bleach in the sense of like the aesthetics of like the character designs and everything is really well done. And just the, you, you, the, the diverse like powers that everybody you know has yeah. with the spirits and stuff so i just don't know what i don't know what to expect for the fight scenes i guess because we saw a little bit with the samurai stuff but i assume it's just more and more grabbing spirits and putting in his body but hopefully oh the yeah scenes will be cool yep. it'll yeah, definitely uh expand though a lot yeah. of supernatural stuff for sure dude yeah. imagine if if shaman king gets a reboot i mean it's probably not gonna happen right they but might, i'm really hoping might, that they bring back fighting food on Oh my god! Oh, oh, you pick. oh my! The other one you that picked that one. So that's, good, dude. That's another one that the four I, kids opening. You, you, you say those words, and I just have the theme song stuck in my head. I'm so Fighting confused. What show? Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, you've never seen it? Oh, oh no, you, you said Shaman King, but no, no, no. no Fighting no, no. Food on. Yeah, he was saying like, in the you know same vein of Shaman King, he was hoping right. for a reboot of Fighting Foodons. Oh, that's yeah. actually a show. Oh. Yeah, it's a show. Yes, 
Okay, I was very confused. It was like food he's... wars before there was food wars. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, because it right, seems like they're just bringing back all these, like, old, like, CW, Kids WB shows back. So it would be nice if they brought back more as well without, like, completely I mean, fucking up the story. I mean, that's, that's just our rose-tinted glasses there, baby. We want full nostalgia. <laughs> yeah. Common oh. King's worth it. Fighting food on even though I'm hyped off remembering the opening of the thing, I don't, ooh, I don't know if that story will would hold up, you know, in today's. It feels like much more like, yeah. I don't like know, maybe. Sorry, more, sorry, more cartoon and like, then like, it's like, um, oh my God, what was that other show? Ultimate Muscle. I used to yeah, love oh Ultimate God. Muscle back in the day. I didn't like that show. You guys like Ultimate Muscle? It was, it was so it, over the top. I loved it. I just, I just didn't care about it. Like, yeah. It was okay. it was animation style for me. I just it, it didn't so, grab on. I, I spent way too many days as a kid and adolescent on a uh, kid WB and and all those things. I mean, Fox same. But I didn't watch. I didn't watch. Doing cartoons. I didn't watch Ultimate Muscle. Yeah. Oh, I, oh, I watched muscle, everything, man. I was Muscle it all comes in. on, I turn it off. <laughs> sad, I mean, sad. I, I yeah, but, just, yeah, but yeah. I think that's. I think yeah, we get it for Shaman King. I think we're so. good. Yeah, I think yeah, we're good. Definitely Shaman King. Yep. <clears throat> and then um i think that's like that's the main shows i want to talk about. i guess like we'll do free for all like you guys wanted so yeah well, we're gonna up. try something new so <laughs> i don't like these are all shows i <clears throat> i watch at least two so i won't be able to say much for i mean if there's if there's shows that already aired for uh this week that you guys want to talk about feel free to so anything that aired like you should probably start there sure i'll, I'll actually start about like the show's uh, early chance of like a uh, has a possible drop uh, for me, okay. um, combatants will be dispatched. Oh. Uh, I watched, well, I watched I the first just, I was, episode. I was interested in watching that, so I'm curious what you say. Yeah, it's okay. So the, I, I would not have touched this at all, but but because it's the Konos of a creator, I was like, fuck it, I oh, gotta give it? it a chance. Yep. But the oh my god! But the beginning of it though, immediately like it was just like hammering etchy stuff, like to the point where it was just, like uncomfortable. Where I'm just like, okay, they're trying to do this way too hard. And uh, I almost, I was basically about halfway through. I was going to just close out of it. It got better, like, the second half. But it's, uh, I don't know if you've kind of followed, like, the same kind of thoughts as, as me with that. But it, because it, what made, like, Konosuba's great is obviously, I mean, Cosmo is awesome. Like, they, they didn't lean nearly on, a he- like, a, a, like the heavy on etchiness at all. Instead, they kind of made a joke of it. And this one, they make it, like, very uncomfortable. Um, like, or just, like, how they bring it up. I like it. Uncomfortable. I would say uncomfortable, because uh, they basically you talk about how just multiple times how the MC wants to grab like you know like, all these girls' titties and stuff. I'm thinking like, okay, like was, okay, we don't have to like was, go this, out and say a, it. But it's not isekai, but is it still like fantasy it is. or oh, is it isekai? Is it isekai? Well, he did get transported to another world. <laughs> I don't know if it's. Oh, I uh, suppose that's a long shot of an isekai. <laughs> I don't know. It's uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's not, but you could call it as Kai, I guess. Okay. Yeah, I don't know where you're going with that, but sure. yeah. But anyway, yeah, the, the show has a very good chance of uh, me possibly dropping it after episode two. It is nothing like Konosuba. It's, uh, I don't know. I don't uh, know, I don't know I yeah, so the storyline the story is, is very shallow, right? And then it looks like they're riding on fan service to kind of carry it through. And uh, kind of like with uh, the other show, uh, with the wrestling one. Oh, uh, the wrestling one was hilarious, though. Yeah, like I, I feel like name. it's it's I feel like the the Konosuba guy is trying something different, but he's kind of just falling flat. And yeah. this is probably his worst one that I've seen yet. Um, and I don't, I'll, I'll probably keep watching it just because it's just whatever. But it's you have to it's let me know. How. Not, yeah, it's yeah. definitely not worth worth it. Really, it's more just fan service and whatnot. Okay. Very very Brutal. crude humor. So okay, wow, well, makes me glad I actually didn't watch today then. Yeah, so that's that. Yeah. Uh, also, like uh, I, we kind of talked about a little bit about like Mashiro no Oto. Um, I think it was me, Justin, and Koo, where I'm just like, mm-hmm. where it felt like it was one episode, but it felt like an entire series. Like it, there's so much shit that happened um, mm-hmm. from like beginning to end. Where uh, this is the next one, where I'm, it's a possible drop for me, uh, depending on kind of like mm-hmm. how really? things go. The only reason why is because they made they were making things hella dramatic, like to the point where. And then they, they had like that. They had like edge lord characters, and they had basically they had they had uh, people cheating. They had breakups. Like you, they had people leaving. <laughs> you sound like I had such they a good face for the everything. show, and you say you got to drop it already. No, no, sir. The music is awesome. I love that instrument. Like just the sound it makes. It's, it's, uh, it, David, I'll just show you the ending to this did, to the show or the the ending song. You might actually like it. I say, did you know like the the old like uh, the Wii commercials? So we want to play. That was that that instrument was a shamisen. 
I had no idea. Yep. So that's that's the stuff. <laughs> yeah, it basically made. is. Yeah, but um, I mean, I don't know. Like, given that point, though, yeah, it, it, it does seem fairly fast paced. But uh, I, I I liked it. I don't know uh, if it I'm will still be gonna give it a chance. Uh, right. I probably another chance for a few uh, more because they they do try to add like a deeper element to the story, right? Uh, you're talking about like this this kid whose grandfather was like a master shamisen player, and then once he passed away, uh, or just before he passed away, he told his grandson, hey, you know, uh, when you play this instrument, you have to find your own sound, right? Your own taste, your own flavor. But you're just copying me. So once I die, you should just stop playing it. I know, and so then, really- like, he, so, like, granted, his grandfather passes away, going in the future, he's like a grown-up teenager now, uh, maybe late teens. Uh, he goes to Tokyo to find his sound. And then... Uh, Right, he's he's thinking to himself that he can't play anymore until he finds his sound. But like they mentioned, he goes through that phase so fast where he's able to play again, and then you meet all these different characters and you go through like an arc in a sense where um you know they, they fix people in a sense and he's able to uh come to I don't know if he's done it yet, but he's come to terms with himself where he's able to play the shamisen again. And then uh yeah, they actually ended it on a completed arc in a sense ending. But then they threw in this twist at the end where if you thought it was gonna be like a nice like uh like serious drama show, uh, you know, you get this hot uh mother like character uh that comes back and apparently she's the MC's mom or whatever. It's, uh, it's, it seems like it's gonna get really wacky. Yeah. Uh, so okay. it's 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 gonna be weird. I don't know how they're gonna pace it, but it seems really weird. Well, yeah, because how they showed the first episode, they sh- they made it seem like really like, really serious. And I I know like right. we kind of talked earlier, Justin. I would have preferred the show to go on, um, <clears throat> like if if they basically like because you know how he mentioned before how he can't play the, the instrument, and before even the, like halfway through the first episode, he's back playing the instrument. It's just mm-hmm. like what the fuck was the point of bringing that up? It it, yeah. it would have been more of like it was it was just him progressively like trying to play it, play his new like uh find his own song, and they just kind of. Did whole, they instead they just had him play like, like this crazy ass like sweet sounding song in the middle of like a rock concert or like before a rock concert, right? And I, it sounded awesome. I'm, and then it's just like, but you just said you couldn't play this instrument. And it's just I don't know. I would have rather have it built up to that. But anyway, yeah, I, don't know. I think potential is definitely there. Uh, obviously, can't write it off or you shouldn't write it off after just one episode. Um, I think like who said it's really just to see. You know, I think in these next you know episodes we're gonna get kind of that not reset but establishment of that base of what the show is going to really build into um i think from the description they talk about like he goes back to high school in tokyo now so now we're gonna kind of see okay maybe these you know other characters that we're gonna be introduced to they might be a lot of fun and stuff but again the music and and the epicness of the shamisen and i think admittedly you know playing monster hunter at the same time and it having its you know use of the shamisen is is definitely gonna you know probably make it uh more hype, we'll say. So, <laughs> right. Uh, I guess yeah, that's all I had about that for my show. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah th- th- those are basically just two shows. That, like, I'm definitely gonna give this one a little bit more leeway than the other one because I just don't think there's any hope for uh, combatants will be dispatched. Um, mm-hmm. Another, another one. Like, I'm like, I tried watching the first episode. I still really don't get what it's about. Godzilla singular point. Uh, I honestly can't tell you anything Dude, what I, happened to the first. It was so I, confusing. I didn't know like there's a Godzilla anime airing this season. I was well, completely. Well, apparently the there thing, is. Well, the thing is, I don't know if it's going to be like actually like like really about like the Godzilla. I'm not sure, but it is done by Bones, so that's really the main kind of like interest is like what they're going to do with it. Um, other than that, I they're basically talking about radio waves, and um, it was I don't know. It's really confusing. I'll, hopefully, I have a better idea. Uh. Like next week of it, like it anything Godzilla, right? not, not even like the recent movies. I haven't seen any Godzilla. So yeah, uh, I was gonna say I watched all those Netflix like Godzilla movies that just came out a few years ago. <laughs> that were the, the anime ones. It was like a three parter or something. Oh, it was, you watch okay. about that? It was the pretty mi- director Ano. The, the CGI yeah, yeah, yeah. one, Shin, Shin Godzilla, that he oh, delayed, yeah. delayed four point hole. Yep. Just to make, and now he's gonna make yep. what, the the common writer one. Yeah. Mm. So, um, anybody, then I don't know if you guys want to mention um, Brink Body. I think uh, you said you were. Did you watch that? Yeah, I watched or it. Planned. Uh, no, I'm I'm watching it. Okay. Uh, but it's so, gonna be, it's it's gonna be uh, 
a maybe as to if we're going to talk about it on the show. Uh, but basically, Kabaddi is a sport where it's kind of like tag in so, a sense. Okay, I was just going to ask what that was. Yeah, oh. and then uh, so basically, you're in this. Uh, think of like dodgeball, right? You're in this like arena in a sense where it's lined up and like there's two teams, um, one on each side, and you take turns of one person being the it team, right? The taggers, and they're supposed to go into the other guy's territory and and tag them and then make it back to their territory without getting tackled to get a point. And then basically the reason why it's, I don't know why it's called Kabaddi, but while you're attacking (laughs) someone, you're supposed to say Kabaddi constantly without taking a breath. Uh, otherwise, you automatically get disqualified, and you can't be you know, like your turn's over. Uh, it's, but it's it, it, it's a pretty extreme, like uh, kind of like like rugby. It's it's pretty extreme contact sport. So okay. there's gonna be a lot of tackling. There's a lot of muscular dudes, you know, whatnot. So uh, it's pretty intense in a sense. And so. is there there's no like obstacles or anything in this arena, right? Is it just like a flat nope. like area between them? Okay. Yep, flat area. The your area is lined up on on the floor in this mat or whatever, mm-hmm. and then yeah, everything's clearly laid out. It's basically you're playing tag and you want to touch the guy without getting tackled. On getting tackled back. on the way back. Okay. Yeah, and then like the MC is pretty funny. He's a guy who used to be a uh, a soccer pro, uh, but he didn't like the the sports world, so he left. <laughs> now he's trying to be a like a like a live streamer, but uh, that didn't work out <laughs> okay. so well. Interesting trend there. <laughs> yeah. Right. So. Uh, they know their market or their potential audience of people trying to make it in the streaming world. Yeah, so it's pretty extreme, pretty funny, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens next week to see if there's enough for us to talk about. But it, it looks pretty promising if you like sport animes. So, cool. Mentioning uh, shows that it's it's gonna be like one of the ones that I'm definitely not gonna talk about on the podcast. Uh, How not to summon a demon lord season two. Uh, I will keep that to myself. And then I'm sure me and Ku, we will talk off stream about it but here and there. But uh, other than that, no need for the no need for this podcast, um, unless mentioned otherwise for some reason. Uh, I, I think Way of the House Husband. Uh, I um, that one I, I know I'm going to watch, but again, I don't like. I don't think it's really going to be anything necessary to talk about on the podcast. I think it's just going to be uh, kind of like ridiculous comedy slice of life I'm almost. I'm very worried about the anime just because like people say the trailer just looks bad, so we'll see. Yeah, it, it, it definitely looks like I don't want to say like slapstick, but it kind of reminds it, it seems, you know, uh, the only thing I'd be really worried about if it's too ridiculous well, which just, has I just like, chance. I just don't want to be another situation where like where people say just read the manga instead. That's what it sounds like. Oh, if that happens, game. then yeah, I'll just drop so, it and I'm not going to read the manga. So we'll There's see. other higher priorities for me. Um, and the <laughs> The one that I'm really hoping that I actually uh, I heard that it early aired was the one that's uh, Ultimate Next Gen Full Dive RPG, even shittier than real life. <laughs> we should mention like, that that's that's the writer of um of uh the, the obviously cautious hero. So ooh, same same writer. That's why cool. <laughs> so that's why cool is excited. It's not just because the title. <laughs> so far, so far it's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Wait, wait, I didn't know there was an early air. Yeah. Uh, well, in the sites. Oh, early uh, air. Okay. Air. In my source. Yeah. Yes. Early air. <laughs> there was an okay. early preview of the episode someplace, okay. and then I it, it was available preview. other places. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just interested in the title itself. So we'll see. And also, I'm curious what the writer does. Like, what kind of like twist yeah. he'll do. So. Yeah, but, but that one, I'm, I'm that one, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that uh, one, I'm, I'm sure we'll talk about on the podcast. We'll just kind of keep that short for now. Yeah. Next um, week. Yeah. The oh, other so one. Good. The other one, I'll, I think I'm gonna be the only one watching it. Zombie Land Saga Revenge. Oh, okay. um, honestly, that one I'm not gonna. Be, you're gonna be watching it too. Okay, yeah. I'm not sure I if actually, it's gonna be one of those. I actually didn't finish the first season, so I need to do that before. The next oh, one gotcha. Years, but, hey, yeah. If if nobody, sorry, go ahead. Dave. If there's more rap battles, I'm in. <laughs> That's oh, like my, my favorite god. part. Of the last oh season. my god. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. But depending on like what happens, I don't really know if it's gonna be one of those shows where it's gonna be where where it's where it's gonna be where we can talk about it on the podcast. Unless if uh, yeah. if it's requested by Adam Knight, if you're still listening, um, that's yeah, one. Uh, he, probably... no, he's he's a Love Live fan, all right? I don't think he's cares hey, so much about Zombie I mean, Saga. Maybe, hey, it's an idol uh, one. I he, he, I know he's seen it. We've talked about it. Did we? Okay. Uh, on, on the comments before. Yeah. Um. Let's see what uh what else is there? Uh, I know like the the two that I know we'll be talking on the podcast. We'll just keep it uh sh- uh short. To your eternity and eighty six. I think we're uh, just about all your, watching those. Because to your attorney was what was what's the big? There's like a person behind it, right? That that's big. It's a silent voice. Silent yeah, silent voice writer. Creator. That's yeah, that, yeah. That's what everyone. That's that's the big thing. So that's why I did. So we'll see. Yeah. 
It'll be good, but it's going to be ready. It's going to be the feels, though. Otherwise, I don't know anything about the show, so I'm just waiting for the first episode. Yeah, Brian, you should join us. Brian, you should join us for a two-year eternity if you want the feels. You know, you know that shit's going to hit hard. I never watched Violent Edward Garden, so no, Silent Silent Boy. (laughs) That too. Wait, no, you did. We talked about that. You talked about it was one of the most depressing things you've ever watched. (laughs) Fucking liar, Brian. (laughs) Damn liar. Yeah. Anyway, join us uh, for the for the cry sessions and you know we'll hold each other um and then the other one i know like we've we've got me- uh comments and like uh mentions uh about was 86 86 uh, man that's that's like my i guess that's like the one hype show that i would i knew i know for sure the light novel readers are hyping up so that's probably my oh. biggest anticipated show of the season is 86 yeah that's the one like um i don't know i watched the pv and i saw it was a bunch of cgi but i'm gonna i'm not gonna i'm wow. not gonna I'm not gonna yeah. degrade it off of that. I'm gonna wait. If anything, I'll probably end up like it's one of those light novels I want to read because people say it's really good. So, at the very least, it doesn't yeah. live up to it. Yeah, I don't know why, but it kind of gave me not Lelouch or Code Geass vibes, but it kind of did in the sense of just you know like the usage of this you know one country using basically like child soldiers or like this other like lesser country to do like all their fighting and stuff. So I'm interested to see. What kind of they have at play there? Like, gotcha. I'm not really too. I'm not really too worried about the the CG. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, I've kind of had a little bit more leniency just because I I, I I kind of actually felt bad when people were like hammering the AOT CGI when I thought like I was like damn I was like that doesn't look that bad at all. That's what I thought. And uh, I mean, if people thought like Val looks bad, I was like I'm just gonna kind of put on. Just, I'm just gonna you, calm you down. Show, you 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 show them the reserve the C- any any reserve the, clips. <laughs> hell yeah, the, the CGI the CGI. In AOT, if that was in any of my favorite shows, I would take that shit instantly. If I like, if I had to choose like a like a, a style of CGI, that and also like the style for a guider as well, I thought was really good um, for the anime when they had that. Um, but I think the only rom com I'm actually going to be watching is the rom com where the childhood friend won't lose, <laughs> just because of the title. Because of the title, um, because uh, so- I am with David, where I want the fucking childhood friend to win, and I swear to God, if yeah. this is like a debate thing, it's a debate, man. <laughs> so, I swear uh, to God. Okay, so I read the first oh, uh, volume thanks, thanks, of Brian. the web novel, so I know what's gonna happen in the first four episodes, but I'll still watch Loser. it because I want to know what happens after that. So I'm so, curious how. L- l- uh, what? Is it good? Was it good? I were you I interested? That, I was interested. Yeah, let's see that. There's All right. I'll take it. I'll take it. It's right. it's nothing new. So I'll say that. Like it's yeah. it's more in the vein of like I don't know, kind of like kind of like what's what's I can't remember the title anymore. The one with um with uh the one rom com we watched where the guy was pretending. Was like, or, was he, I think oh, there, oh that kinda, one. Kinda oh, like that. it's kind of like oh, in that shit. vein almost, or like okay. any other rom coms. Yeah, so. What what was that one? Didn't an OVA come out too for the like the yeah. the actual ending of that? I haven't watched that yet. Yeah, no, no, you you and Ku watched it, I'm pretty sure. No, or that Suki. was Orisuki. I thought no, yeah. but no, you're talking about the. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, is that that is that the show Orisuki? Um. Well, what did the what did the MC do? Was it the one that lost a bunch of weight? You got. No, no, that's thought, one, that, that's, oh, okay. that's, that's Masa and Mune could okay. revenge. That's the one I thought you first mentioned. Okay, no, or it's the one where like um the guy like he pretends to be nice to. He's, like, oh, he's, yeah. okay. he's pretending. He has, he's like, he has like who's voice actor or whatever, and then like, the library girl catches him, and she's like they all have like, weird the weird names. Like, I think his name is like Joro or whatever, and like the girl's yeah, like Pansy. Pan- Pansy. Yeah, Pansy is all you need to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so I didn't call the right one for some reason. I thought that you were about to say the the other one, but, uh, Masa. Mune. But uh, never mind then. I mean, I don't. I mean, I, I guess like very. It's very typical, but I still enjoyed it. So I think you guys will. I think at least Ryan will enjoy it. Hell yeah! I'm gonna give uh, it a shot. Yeah. Like I said, as long as the childhood friend actually wins, we're good. It better not be one of those stupid things where it's just like they ha- where they have like the childhood friend, but then you find out another one that was like the actual childhood re- the childhood friend or like or was I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of a. So uh, I, 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 know, a situation. <laughs> so I know what how like the first yeah first volume and goes, but then like it's it's like basically like, like one each volume is like an, it's a separate arc. So then I don't know what, I don't know what happens after that first arc. So gotcha. So we'll see. Um, and I think I think that's it for me. So I don't know if you guys want uh, of like the other shows that I'm planning on. Um, oh, the Princess Snow and Blood, which I guess was uh, also one that I have not yet watched. But I don't I'm know anything not about that. Sure but just about the that title sounds interesting, so it's fine enough for me. Oh. But anyway, uh, those are my shows. Yeah, so for that one, it 
kind of gave me like Ghost in the Shell vibes, kind of, but not like futuristic. But isn't that like the uh, Shogunate or something like that? Like, ba- yeah, like the back Shogunate. Yeah. yeah, got that Rurouni Kenshin era feels. Yeah, I love those. So I will take it. Yeah, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it kind of gives me um, Kabanari and the Iron Fortress vibes in the sense oh, of like okay. you have individuals that can transform into like zombies, oh, you know, powerful <laughs> beings. So, yeah, I, I, I agree also with uh, Ku's relation of kind of that ghost in the shell effect of, you know, we have this this stronger, you know, prominent uh, female leading character um, and getting to learn more of kind of, you know, her backstory and, and you know, w- what they're fighting against or what kind of is, you know, driving the power struggle in this world. Yeah, um, I'm going to give it a shot. And um, uh, let's see. Um, I guess uh, uh, Shadow House. Like, I don't know anything about this, but like, I keep seeing it pop up. So I guess I'll give the first couple of social shots. See what it's all about. That one, I'm sure we'll talk about on the podcast too, right? Um, we'll see. Uh, yeah, yeah we'll also wait and see. I feel it like you guys would have to if it's one of those things where it's comparable to Promise Neverland. So yeah, that's, that's at least what I've been which, hearing. Which, which is funny because it's all this is by Cloverworks too. So <laughs> my man. <laughs> They're banking on their successes now. What if they were purposely like tanking Promised Neverland for this one? Well, it's not their manga, <laughs> so it's not it's not their original thing either. So, oh well, never mind then. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe Cole just, just, just stick with Freight Crane order. Just think about works. Yes. You know, they, 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 they don't. They only did Babylon. They didn't do the Camelot movies. So. Oh really? Huh. I, I, that's what my, my amulet says. I don't know if they're right, but weird. Right. Uh, oh. But yeah, otherwise, uh, for shows, I'm basically going to watch all the other rom-coms that's been announced this season as well. Uh, they all show some promises, but they do have that theme of like younger, younger girls, like high school girls, like and the love interest is this like like mid twenties businessman. I, I do so not that's like not that. Your, I yeah, if like you don't like that, favorite, <laughs> like that, yeah, then oh, might man. not be for I, you. I, I was I, I wasn't when, gonna say anything. When I see like yeah. that in description, I'm like hard pass. Like I cannot like um, ooh. <laughs> Yeah. So I don't know. But it's rom com, so we'll we'll give it a, Did you watch uh, After the Rain, Ku? After the Rain. Uh um, doesn't sound has a, familiar. That has a really good song. Oh I think opening, but yeah, the opening song is it. really good. But to your point, that's also a similar series of high school girl falling for but that guy's much older than 25. He, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's like a pushing forward. I recommend, I recommend it. I, At the end of the day, boys, it's anime. So let's try not to take yeah, it too we'll seriously. Pull every, yeah, pull every. Just, yeah. just, you know, when, when the FBI yeah, opens you up. You guys can enjoy no, no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> like... no, no. Okay, you know, they're not doing the Mushoku Tensei, you know, yeah. fawning over 12 year old girl so i i think yeah. we can be a little yeah relaxed. that's true okay. yeah yeah okay i think this for me it's like i just don't like like big age gaps that's like never been my thing so i mean mishoku tensei well the age gaps just make it more creepy because you know one one of them is underage so anyways that, that's just me then just just don't listen to my opinions though. anyway Let's get, out of let's get out of there. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, yeah. let's move to Mars Red. Mars Red. I don't know anyone <laughs> so, on the show either, but the description sounds vampires. interesting. So. Yeah, vampires. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, more, more vampires. So that's obviously oh, the first thing it can be, <laughs> hit or miss. Um, but I think I was telling David, like, the soundtrack, really noticeable and kind of, like, prominent in a good way. Okay. Um, Ooh. And the, I guess, designs and kind of elements give me kind of a monogatari type vibe um so that's going for it but i think the big thing is really is this, with one episode we just don't know about is this taking place yet. in japan or europe or what uh japan japan okay so it's so like so i'm always interested in like in like this like 1930s like era basically any industrial era of japan because really you get to see much in anime so that always catches my interest so we'll see yeah so potential but it could be a, a huge flop in the same regard. So it's we'll something. See. It's yeah. something. Usually, something kind of different than we usually get. So I'm always to try it out. Just let us know. Yeah. We'll do. And then, and then I one, think you want to know just like the the SSSS 
like Dinah. Let's just face the next one in the franchise. Did or you watch just, the original, David? I only watched a couple episodes. I might just like just try to catch up to that before I watch this one. Um, I heard the original was like I would have watched the original series. I heard the original was like was was like heavily influenced by like by like a lot of like Ultraman or like yeah a lot of like the those kind of series. So I don't know. Yeah, I just I just watched trigger, so that's like that's why I went else is big on it. But did uh, Ultraman have thick thighs as well? No, it did not. Mm-hmm. Already, it's it's uh, this is an upgrade then. Actually, no. I, I think yeah, I don't know anything it, else about the show. I think there's there's a, there's a franchise called Gridman. That's kind of like, that's like similar. That's so. the predecessor. It's the yeah, SSS SSS Gridman. Gridman. SSS yeah. Gridman. Okay. Oh, I thought that's one more time. No, no, about. no. I, no, I'm saying like, I think there's like this uh, live action series called Gridman. That's oh, isn't there like, something yeah, that's okay. like also titled Gridman? That that the SSS one is based off of. Or are are you thinking of Ultraman? I thought like the actual was Grid Man, but maybe yeah. It I could be. It there's there's too many of these like you know yeah. battle it's, mechs, it's not, it's not a and with. all these. Yeah, yeah. I had the Super <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> Ultraman game. Random fact. Um, Random okay. fact. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Moving I think, on. Um, but I think that's. I like, think I'll check it out for for Trigger alone. But what was the last show that Trigger did? Not not the Grid Man one, but um. Oh my God! The one that was like there were a bunch of kids and the kids were being like testing. Not Darling in the Franks. Was it? Was uh, was after? Was what's it after before that? Franks? There's Kisniver. Before Kisniver. Kisniver. Thank you. Okay. Kisniver. I gave a, a complete shot because I was like, "Oh, it's Trigger. Let me give them a shot." And then I was just like, "Oh my god!" Like, this is. See, not, I liked. Not I liked. Business. I liked it until the like the ending. Uh, like, uh, yeah, it got yeah, yeah, worse until the ending. Like, I actually really liked it up until that point. And again, and again, then, yeah, again, again the Darling, wrong in the, Darling in the Franks suffered the exact same thing, but the to disaster, a, yeah. a greater degree. So yeah. hopefully, which uh, I think was know. also, by the way, Cloverworks as well. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh, shit. So it's just uh, trigger in Cloverworks. Yeah. Come on, Cloverworks, get out of this. You got yeah, this. Uh, long well, story I, short, I'll, I'll, I'll probably check it out. It was up. Uh, I think that was. I think that was back when they were with A One still. They were still like they were like they were part of a bigger studio before they got split off into Cloverworks. But uh but besides that, um, yeah. I think that's like most of the shows we're talking about. We're not gonna, probably not gonna talk about all of them, but like that's like a general right. list of like the ones we're keeping an eye on for spring. So, yeah, just, we wanted to at least just yep. mention the shows that we're planning on watching or that we're gonna be watching off the podcast stream, just in like in the privacy of our own house or homes. <laughs> okay. And uh, if for some reason if you guys watch any of these shows, uh, just let us know, and yeah. then we could possibly uh, do shoutouts for them as well. Yeah, because we but, still don't know what our final light, like our. Final is going to be for this season. Oh, actually, this, I I forgot, I forgot to mention too. Me and Ku are our season two of uh, Irumakun at the Demon School. That comes out like way later, April seventeenth. So it's like two more weeks you have to wait what for that. Makes Sren- no sense. Yeah, so it's like it's like the last one that aired, and Sren and the the um the childhood friend rom com that airs I think the fourteenth. So it's like that's also what the like heck? way later too. So we have to oh. wait like get to wait like two more podcast episodes before you can talk about it. <laughs> Do I realize this is still technically like we're still ta- have this as winter season? We could have probably just done the we could have probably done this a lot on the, the next episode. Uh, I like keeping consistent because thirteen se- thirteen uh, weeks in one season, so that way we don't like oh, have gotcha. to mess up at the end for fall. So. True, true. Yeah, makes sense. I can well, always next, add this next, bit to our next episode as well. Next if we week will be a true season. Where I'll say true week one. So yeah, because we had a lot of like weird like pre airs too. So. Yeah. yeah. That, oh my god! I didn't realize how many there were until until I was like, "Oh, I can't wait for this episode." And I just hear Ku say, "I watched that already." I was like, "Okay." <laughs> I was like, "I can't wait for this one." I watched that one too. I was like, "What the fuck?" Just the coming <laughs> of the times, man. Nobody's no. got time to wait around anymore. We needed it yesterday. <laughs> yeah, I mean, good sources, man. You just gotta get better sources, you know. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Well, I normally just wait. I normally get an email saying, "Oh, this is now airing," and then I'm like, "Okay, let's do this." And then uh, I didn't get any of them for these other episodes or these other shows. It was important, man. You'd take the time and effort to go and find it. Mm-hmm. No. But I'm still surprised right. how much we're still discussing for spring. Seems like like winter was like so, oh. so stacked and it seems like we barely like This season barely, has potential. Like, yeah. Yeah. Stop. I think spring, a lot of so. stuff will admittedly probably get dropped off. But Oh yeah. Like, already yeah, yeah. There's already two of my shows. I'm like, eh, like it's like it's already teetering, which isn't a good <laughs> sign. So we'll see. Yeah. yeah. A lot of, like, lot, lot of, like um, unknowns this season because like winter is a bunch of sequels and then summer is like it's like the part twos of the winter shows. So a lot of unknowns <laughs> exactly. this season. So 
Exactly. We'll see. We'll yeah. see what brings. Yeah, but I think we're gonna end it here. So, thanks guys. That was a uh, huge season for winner though. You know, we got through yeah. ALT, Jujutsu Kaisen. We just got through yeah. one of egg priority oh, here. So huge ones. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a, it's gonna be a tough season to kind of follow up after this last one because there was so many yeah. just giant shows. A lot of shows that I need to catch up to. So. So, well, yeah, that that will maybe maybe but I was going to say maybe it might be this is the season to do it. And then uh, after our list and going through these, eh, we'll see. We'll see. So, we'll end there for now. I <laughs> uh, want to thank the audience for joining us today. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Ulysses. Always fun talking to you. Thanks yeah, to Fizzle for showing up, thanks. too. And, and Darren. Darren as well. As well. Yes, Darren, our VRP. Yeah, <laughs> morning to you. Hopefully all, all as well. Yeah. Um. Then, thanks for everybody on our uh, YouTube videos as well for the, yeah. the comments, the likes, the dislikes. Yeah. Even though the dislikes, let us know what we're doing wrong, please. I uh, no, I always appreciate Besides comments. The... I like the comments because yeah. they always like the real people talking to us. So I always appreciate that. Uh, so. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've been kind of slacking in comments just because like I didn't. The last two weeks was not good for me, but like hopefully it's bringing me more consistent. So bring that back in. The, the comments were about B stars. I couldn't say anything. Oh, <laughs> fine. Oh, oh, uh, so, oh, go ahead. Yeah, Dude. for the Beast Star comments, uh, I did see them, but I, it's not that I didn't want to comment back, but it was just the fact that uh, they're all valid points, and I don't think there's anything else I can really add. Uh, so uh, I'm sorry I didn't respond back. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully the people who post them made it this far to see your comment. <laughs> so. Well, if they did it, then they don't deserve to hear my apology, okay? Right. Right. They weren't really involved yeah. for it. And yeah. uh, it sounds like we're going to be watching a few longer running shows this season, so uh, the, uh, li- the lizard guy may not like us. So I apologize if uh, <laughs> if our bits that we t- talk about this season are uh, not up to standards. Yeah. All right. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, so thanks, guys. Thanks, uh, thanks, panel, for joining me. Always fun. Thanks for carrying me because I felt like I didn't watch as much as I should have. But good, I missed out on a lot of things too. Damn early airing. Yep. But we're in it there. We'll see you guys next week for, for spring. Bye. 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 Cue that outro music, Shren. Yeah, I still have to find that name <laughs> of the damn song. Look uh, around you, look <laughs> beyond. You could make. <laughs>